All right, we are live. <coughs> Fuck. We are live, and I have salsa water with me because I'm a freak, and that's what I do. I drink salsa water. I need something to like open up my vocal cords. All right. Let me get situated in my chair. Oh shit, what did I just press? I pressed the button. Buttons got pressed. The whole playthrough is ruined now. So. Welcome back to the stream. More Danganronpa. It's been a while. It is currently, uh, what? What time is it for me? It's currently 2.13 in the morning. And there are three children awake right now. So, whatever happens in this video, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever happens to stream is is gonna make me hate myself later. Alright. So where we last left off in Danganronpa, if I remember correctly, first of all, let me make sure that my mic is muted. Okay, it's not. Cool. <laughs> if I remember correctly, um... Uh, what, what the fuck did happen? Oh, yeah. So, Monokuma showed up. He's like, man, wouldn't it be crazy if you guys can, like, revive the dead? And they're like, damn, dog, that is crazy. That's so crazy. You're crazy. And he's all like, well, guess what? You can with this handy-dandy Necronomicon that I just pulled out my ass. And then Mono Dan was all like, you know what? Fuck you, dad. And he kicked his ass, kicked him out. And then Monokuma went on vacation or some shit. I don't know. And then everybody's talking about, let's bring back people from the dead. But you can't do that, though. That's not real. Whatever. In the meantime, the Angie cult of Atua has fucking grown in size tremendously. And basically, they do whatever the hell they want. We made friends with Maki. Maki's our friend now. Fucking the three musketeers over here, Kaito, Suichi, and Maki. Nothing can ever beat that team. The best team that ever was. Right? And, uh, so Angie, on her own, on her cultish shit, she's all like, fuck you guys, I'm gonna go and ride the dead. Right? Meanwhile, uh, who the fuck were the people that were brainwashed? Was it, uh, it was Gonta? Fuck, who was it? It was Gonta, Himiko, Sumugi, and Tenko. But Tenko was like playing around. She's like, she's like, I'm a spy. I'm not really brainwashed. I'm not part of the cult. She's like, I'm just there because Himiko's there. I'm trying to get some, right? Because she's weird. Anyways, some things happen here. Some things happen there. Overall, everyone's pressing Maki because she's an assassin. They're like, she's going to kill us. Whatever. You guys are just, you guys are just crazy. She'll never harm a fly. She's so peaceful. I would trust Maki with my life. Anyway, so Angie, she's like, I'm gonna go start the ritual. Whatever. She goes, start the ritual, gets herself killed. But how'd she get herself killed if the room was locked the whole entire time? Uh-oh. Well, I know what's gonna happen. We're gonna have a seance, Kyo says. We're gonna talk to the dead. Who's gonna be the sacrifice? And then fucking Tenko raised her hand and she's like, don't worry, I'll be fine. <laughs> she's like, I'll be fine. But before I go, let me give you some heartfelt warming words of encouragement and personal growth because I'll definitely come out of this alive. And guess what? She's dead now. So now we have two murders on our hands. But if it, turn if it turns out that both murders were separate, then the second murder was a waste because it doesn't count. People are just dead now for the fuck of it. Prime suspect. We got two prime suspects in my opinion, Kyo and Himiko. Kyo, he's just suspicious as fuck. I'm surprised he made it this long. And Himiko, too much going on around her. Too much. I feel like the person to pull off this, uh, this murder needs to be skilled and sleight of hand in some sort of way, right?
So, right now, if I remember- Fuck, I keep forgetting every goddamn time I do this shit. Turn that shit off. <laughs> so where we last left off, we need to start investigating Tenko's body, because we finished Maki's investigation. And with each passing trial and death, I get uh, more nervous because all I want, all I want in this game is for my girls, Maki and Mew, to make it out alive. And as the, as the herd gets thin, right, you just kind of, you just kind of start to feel, feel a little anxious. You're like, no, you're like, no, ain't no way, ain't no way. So, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. The more I play this, it's just like, it's like, I'm trying to think in my mind who the hell the survivors are going to be, because there's always at least like five, maybe six survivors at the end of like Dangarampa. In the first one, you had, um, who the fuck you had in the first one? It was... Koto, Kyoko, Yakuya, um, fucking Hina, and Hagakure, right? It was only five. Was it five? It wasn't five. Am I bugging? Did I miscount that? Shit. <laughs> Koto, Kyo, Yakuya, Hagakure, Hina, oh, and Toko. I almost forgot about Toko! <laughs> Yeah, it was six in the first one, and I think in the second one it was five survivors, right? You had, uh, that guy, that guy, that guy. Yeah, it was five survivors in the second one, I believe. Really, uh, they really, uh, they really fucking last way longer than I thought they would. Anyways, same thing with Mew here. I thought Mew would have been dead by now. I really thought Mew would have been dead by now. Mew? Stick with it. You need to survive. You need to pull through. I know Maki. Maki's a sure win. She's a sure win. I have it in pure faith. So, now, I just gotta fucking remember what the hell I was doing. Bring out the Monokuma shit. Let's see. View rules? No. Where's the, uh, here we go. Evidence. There is a lot. Necronomicon, FG's, forehead injury. Katana. Okay, which one is related to... Oh, here we go. Kibo's flashlight function. Hmm. Floorboards. That cage. White sheet. White sheet. I was looking for a, uh... For, like, a puncture spot from, like, a knife or something. There seems to be none, right? And I find it weird. I find it weird. Considering how, uh, considering how Tenko died, I find it weird that there's no, like, stab, no entry point on the blanket, on the sheet. Because that means that, that means either the person who killed Tenko had to either do it from underneath, which could be a possibility, right? Or they had to somehow crawl in there and do it over her, but if they did it that way, they would be covered in blood. Because if the blood managed to get up on the fucking... On the sheet... How did it not get on the person? Makes no sense. Marker stone, dog statue... The only possibility I can think of is that somehow... Somehow... Whatever blade or sharp object they used was strong enough... To... Was strong enough... To enter the body... But wasn't strong enough somehow... To leave a mark in the sheet. To leave like an entry point in the sheet. Because that means that she would be resilient as fuck. And it's just made out of fabric, right? It's very thick and cannot be seen through. Hmm. It's very thick and cannot be seen through. I still, I still don't believe it. I don't believe that the sheet can be that thick. <laughs> right? Whatever. I don't know. I don't know, I'm just spitballing here. Check the candles. Candles hung on the wall. They are only they are only source of light in this room. Uh, there are no windows in this room, so without the candles, it was pitch black. 
but how did the culprit kill Tenko in complete darkness? Hmm, I'm not sure. What do you think, Maki? Well... Do these floorboards seem a little unstable to you? They're tough to walk on. Uh, um... The floorboards aren't nailed down. They're just lying on top of the cross pieces. That's what Gonta told me. It's probably the reason they're a little unstable. Hmm. They've only been laid on top. That's why they're unstable. Well. While the boards are fairly thick and sturdy, I can't imagine they come loosely easily. Is this... But if someone wanted to remove a floorboard, they could do it easily, right? Okay. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, that's what I'm thinking, but... Like... This is the only entry point. It makes no sense to me. Hmm. Alright. Well... Kokichi, you seem like you got something to share. Man, what a lame function. You should have made him, like, a Transformer or something. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Kyo? Anything to say? That cannot be. Why did this... I knew it. Kyo, I know the murder was pretty shocking. But of course. Of course I'm shocked about that as well. But why did the seance fail? Yeah, I was waiting for a moment. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Blob, Blob the Blob. Is that an X-Man reference? You know, Blob? Bob the Blob or something? I don't know. Fucking... I was waiting for Kyo to say some weird shit, though. Just to be like... Because... <laughs> because he's sitting there, he's like, Wait, how could this happen? I'm like, wait a minute. There's no way you're scared of the murder, because you haven't reacted to any murder thus far. And he's like, yeah, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the seance. <laughs> of course, I'm shocked about that as well, but why didn't the seance fail? We performed all the steps flawlessly. He seems more concerned about that than the murder. Oh, if we perform the cage child again and summon Tenko's spirit this time... Oh, fuck you. We're not doing that. Orochimaru-looking-ass motherfucker. Get away from me. <laughs> Get away from me. Don't touch me. This is stupid. Cut the crap. Just tell me what happened during the seance. Both you and Suichi were present, right? Did she get killed during the seance? Uh, yeah. I see, yes. True, it may be best to move past what happened to know why the seance failed. Is that so? Whatever, just hurry up. At the time, in order to begin the seance, we had Tenko, the spirit medium, position herself as the turtle within the magic circle so her head touched the marker stone. Then Suichi and Kokichi placed the cage over Tenko, and after that I placed the white cloth over the cage. Then all four of us placed the wooden statue of the dog- oh wait, hold up. Wait a minute. All four of us placed the wooden statue of the dog, dog god atop the cage. Afterwards, we stood in four corners of the room. Kokichi and Suichi blew out the candles. Yes. Finally, we all sang the cage child song. The seance should have been complete, but... Oh. Now that you mention it, I remember hearing a strange sound during the song. Strange sound is the loudest thing known to mankind. It is a mystery to me as well. I thought someone may have tripped, perhaps. That was a pretty loud sound for someone tripping. Perhaps Kyo knows something. What do you mean? And then what happened? Yes. And we called her out. We called out to her, but no reply came. I had Suichi and Kokichi relight the candles. And then we removed all the items from within the magic circle in the opposite order. First, all four of us removed the dog statue. Next, I took off the white cloth, and then... Himiko ran over to the cage, and at that moment she lifted it. Fucking tiny, puny, puny, lazy child just went like, Fuck this cage! Ugh! And just tossed it across the room. Then it sounds like Tenko was definitely killed during the seance. No. But would it not be difficult in such darkness? Besides, she was inside the cage, yes? Then? Then when was she killed? Well, that's... Yes, that's the problem. I see, yes. There's another problem. How? And that is, why ever did the seance fail? I simply cannot figure it out. Perhaps. Maybe someone moved from their corner. Did someone else sneak in here? What's the point? Obviously, since the seance was clearly a sham. 
<laughs> I don't I don't think you should have said that to him. Maki never was one to pull her punches. <laughs> now they're just having like a fucking stare down. He's all like, what the fuck did you say to me? They're just staring at each other menacingly. Alright. We'll see. You got anything to add, Mew? Alright. This in this in what the fuck? Investibation Investibation. What? Bation. I don't like that. I don't like that. Investibation. That's weird. You're weird, Mew. I like you. It's over and shut. And it's all thanks to me for giving Kibo his new function. Now then. Cunt Foo's killer is obvious. Alright. That's a nickname. <laughs> what are you stupid asshole who signed up to do this bullshit seance in the first place? No. No, not necessarily. Huh? Seriously? The seance was clearly set up to lure her and kill her. How could someone who wasn't in the room kill her? Could it be? So you believe that Tenko was killed during the seance? Fucking moron! There's no other possibility, shit for brains. God, you don't even know that. It's true that Tenko was alive before the seance began. This is the point of no return, Tenko. After this point, you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, it will be Angie speaking through you. Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Tenko answered Kyo, so at that point, she was most certainly alive. But when the candles were relit, she had already been killed. That means she was killed in the dark. I'm positive. What time exactly was Tenko killed after the candles were blown out? That may be an important point of the case. Hmm. What if... Now just hear me out. I'm spitballing a little bit here. What if... By some... By some... Miraculous reason... Kyo didn't know all that he thought he knew about the seance. There's some fucky shit with that dog statue. I can feel it because there's no other way I can think about it, right? Unless she was stabbed from, you know, from underneath. What if Kyo just didn't know that it was a deadly seance? And... All of us who just carried the dog statue and placed it on the cage are accomplices. What the fuck happens then? Who takes the blame for that? There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. <laughs> There's no fucking way. How you holding up, Himiko? You murderer. I know it's you. Stop, stop faking it. Hey! Himiko? Hey, Himiko, be strong, Himiko. Don't if you shake Himiko that much, she's gonna break. But, but she's not talking. It's like Himiko not even here. Like I thought. She must be really shocked over Tenko. Or maybe shocked over the fact that she killed her. She was like, but she was my friend. <laughs> Let's leave her be for now. Okay. Mm. Alright. Samugi, you see anything of note? I said things that made Tenko look suspicious, and now this- Oh yeah, I think I talked to her before. I'm sorry, Tenko. Stop it. Cry later. What? Huh? Because. Crying won't bring Tenko back, and if we don't investigate thoroughly, we'll die too. Okay. I need to find the truth and pin down the culprit for Tenko and all of us. I guess. You're right. Tenko would want us to figure it out so she could have no regrets. That would be best way to apologize. All right, Maki, what's going on with you? You see something? Floorboards have been laid on top of the cross piece. Well, is this okay? Yeah, it seems like nothing different. Okay. I think Gonta's the only one I haven't talked to, right? That and Kibo. Why? First Angie, then Tenko. Gonta's so ashamed. Why Gonta could not protect friends? Aw. Gonto, you're such a peaceful giant, and I feel like you're not gonna survive this game. <laughs> Leave it to me. Leave it to me, I will become the guiding light that shines. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, something else in here. Is it the mat? Okay, it's the magic circle. Magic circle killed you on the floor. Well, at least it was. Oh, dear. It's been completely stomped over. I suppose it was unavoidable. Well, 
Was this drawn with salt? Yes. Whenever I perform a seance, I always use salt. What? Are you feeling all right? You sound ridiculous. 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 I have performed many successful seances. Why have even why even had spirits enter my body? I'm right already. Shut up. I don't want to hear about your stupid delusions. I can imagine Kyo just like <laughs> just like part of like some seance circle just like lighting up some, <laughs> just lighting up some fucking dank ass bush in the middle of the room and he's all like, "Oh, the spirits are in my body." The magic essence. <laughs> Maki really doesn't beat around the bush. It's kind of refreshing, actually. But... In any case, with all these footprints, I can't make out the origin... Well, I can't make out the original circle. So what? We'll find out in Kyo's lab. It should be written in the Cage Dog Village document. Hey. Isn't that right, Kyo? He seems depressed. I suppose that makes sense. She's just digging into him. All right. What the fuck else do you want here? Is it the cage? We checked the cage out. I'm pretty sure we checked the cage out. Anything up in the roof? On the sides? Magic circle? Okay, we checked the tarp. I'm pretty sure we checked the dog statue. Okay, it's called Dog God during the seance. Yukichi Himiko weighs about 175. The fact that all four of them needed to do it is beyond me. It's beyond me. Like, I'm just, in my head, I'm like, maybe it's because it's Japan and, you know, most most people in Japan are skinnier. But, like, 175 pounds, come on. It could have took two of you guys to do it. How much does the fucking cage weigh? It probably weighs more. This is made out of wood. That's made out of iron. It took two people to lift an iron cage. It took Himiko to fucking toss it across the room by herself. But the wooden dog statue. Ah, oh, nah. 175 pounds. Can't lift that. Use your fucking knees. Alright. So, what else is... Oh, what the hell is that back there? Coal in the corner? There's a small opening in the corner of the room. It doesn't look big enough for a person to get through, but still. This? A hole. Looks like there's a space underneath here, too. Whose fucking corner was this? I can see something below. It looks something it looks like something dropped down there. Huh? Something dropped down there. Is it a knife? Something dropped from here. Hey. After we check everywhere else, why don't we go under the floor and see for ourselves? You're right. You're right. Let's do it. By the way. Seems pretty dark down there. What should we use for a light? Your fucking brilliant smile? Smooth. I'm a smooth talker. That's true. Let's bring a candle. With the keyboard's light from up here, should be fine. Okay. Then I'll go get a candle. Remove that floorboard so we can go down. Okay. All right, got it. I pulled off some of the floorboards near the hole and took the candle from Maki. Then we carefully made our way through the hole and under the floor. Is it a knife? Oh, that's a lot of blood. Okay. Yeah, so... Okay, so when they stab, they must have used a stupid amount of force. Hmm. It's a lot more suspicious than I thought. You can move pretty easily on all floor- All floors. On fours. <laughs> okay. Let's look around for clues. Well... It'd look pretty stupid if we found no clues after crawling around in this dusty place. Okay. Yeah. Still dripping. Still fresh. Blood dripping from the gaps in the floorboard. Fresh blood. It's definitely Tenko's. Dried blood? There's a blood stain on the ground under- <gasps> Wait a minute. Is it possible to enter Angie's room? From here? I don't I don't think so. Dry blood. That's definitely Angie's blood. Ain't no fucking way it's not. But that's pretty far from where Tenko's body is dripping down. It's under the same floorboard, just some different ends. Why is there blood here? Hey. 
Hey, the back of this floorboard has blood on it too. Oh. You're right. There's a little bit of blood on the underside of the floorboard. What do you mean? Did Tenko blood splatter here when she got killed? That's true. I wonder. What if the floorboard was put back in place, but just they just flipped it over? Hmm. I wonder. I can't. Uh, I wonder. I can't really be sure yet. Okay. But this blood stain here are completely dry. There must be some reason these pe yeah. these peculiar stains are dry. So Angie was definitely killed here earlier. That's what I'm coming to a conclusion with right now. What? Bloody sickle! It's not even a knife, it's a sickle! That's fucked up! There's a sickle here, and there's blood all over it. Okay. The blood on the sickle is fresh. And this is it. This is the murder weapon. Is this... This came from my research lab. Huh? It did? Wait, what? You have sickles in your research lab? I thought you didn't use melee weapons. Well... A sickle can be used to assassinate a target. It can be thrown without losing any, without losing any lethality. Without is that how you pronounce that, right? Lethally, lethality, Le lethal. I don't, I don't know. I'm not a scholar. You can hide it under your clothes too. Well. If she was attacked with this, she wouldn't stand a chance. The blade is about six inches. That's right. And since Tanko was in the cage, she wouldn't have been able to defend herself. But, but even if this is our murder weapon, how did the culprit attack Tanko in the cage? That's what I'm wondering. The blade could flip. Uh, the blade could fit through the gaps in the cage, but could it reach her neck? That's true. The cage is three feet high. If you were to stab into it with a six-inch blade, it would depend on Tenko's posture. But I don't think it's impossible. Then her posture is the question. Hey. Hey. If the weapon is down there, the culprit must have thrown it away, right? That's true. Perhaps after killing Tenko, the culprit threw the sickle under the floor in the dark probably what the thud was or they could have or they could have been under the floor the entire time either of those is possible well let's look for a fucking exit point down here well up there yep there's an exit point right there so this can this can probably lead to Angie's room as well and then you know they kill Angie in the room somehow and they go under floors. Maybe. This would definitely, uh... Okay. Some of the wood on the corridor is broken off, so you can see into the next room. Hey. This is the wall of the empty room, right? Looks like there's a wood... Looks like there's wood along the wall. This part has rotted away. Hmm. It looks like natural rot. This hole wasn't made intentionally. But I can get into the next room through here. That's true. If I remember correctly, the room next door is also empty, right? Then a culprit could have gone from room to room by moving under here instead of using the hallway. No. True. But it would have been difficult moving around under the floor. We did all <clears throat> We did alright because we had a light without that. It'd be pitch black. True, it would be pitch black. And I don't think Kibo would be able to do it because his his natural his natural headlights, literal headlights, <laughs> lights coming out of his fucking head, would definitely give him away if it has enough power to light up an entire room. Hmm. Unless the floorboards are like super fucking like close together, but I don't think I don't think that's the case here. Might make it impossible to move around in here. They could use a light. They were doing right now. Well. Wait, what? Did I even read that correctly? I'm sorry. <laughs> then they could have used the light like we're doing right now. They used the light to move around under the floor. Is that possible? Okay. Still have investigated everything. What do you mean? Let's stay in. Look, part of the cross beat that supports the floorboards is cut off. That's true. It's near the loose floorboard and the portion missing is about the same width too. And from what I can see of it, that's true. 
It wasn't broken off naturally. It was cut by someone. Should have been saws in the warehouse, so they could have used that. The question is why? Hmm. Probably to... Hmm. To make an entry point, probably, but also mainly to make it quiet. Right? Remove some of the wood, make your uh, entrance quiet. Because I'm pretty sure if the wood was still there, you make a lot of fucking noise. Another cross piece is supporting the floorboard, so it might have not fallen. It might have not fallen if this portion is missing. Then... So, what purpose did it serve? The floorboard underneath Tenko's body is loose, and the cross piece supporting it has been cut. If the culprit did all that, did all this, then why? Okay. I think we finished investigating here. Is that all right? Maki, you want to head back? <sighs> Glad you ask. I'm starting to get fed up with all this dust. After Maki and I crawled out from under the floor, we put the floorboards back. And return to our investigation. So now we gotta check Maki's... I would assume we would have to check Maki's, uh, her, uh, research lab. By the way. We've only been investigating this room. You sure that's wise? Huh? What do you mean? Because. If Angie and Tenko had different killers, then the black end we need to vote for is... You're right. The culprit with the first murder. The culprit who killed Angie. That's what Monokuma said. Then? So instead of investigating Tenko's death, shouldn't we be investigating Angie's? Uh, okay. Yeah, of course. But... But this is bigger than the killing game. For the sake of the two who died. Forget about... <laughs> I mean, yeah, for the sake of the two who died, but forget about that for a second. If there are if there are two different killers, then that means someone here, like, they don't have to be worried about the killing they did. Yeah, it was a waste, but also, we know that they have the intent to kill again. I need to reveal the truth of both their deaths. Hmm. Well, I understand why you feel that way. But if you plan on investigating the other crime scene again, we should probably hurry. All I know is Kaido does not have a good alibi. When I came to the hallway, a scene more surprising than I could ever imagine unfold. I swear to God, if Kaido is just dead in the hallway, I'll be so mad. What? Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, ain't no way. <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm like, I don't believe that. <laughs> Did I surprise you? No, not really. I kind of expected you to pull some shit like this. You tried. You tried, asshole. But you failed. Did I surprise you? See, if it was Kaido, then I would have been, what? But it's Kokichi. I'm like, eh, who cares? Are you going to scream and cry in terror? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Oh? oh, sorry. I'm just a little lightheaded from the blood loss. Yeah, this is real blood. Why? Okay, so what are you doing? Hmm. I got curious about something, so I decided to search the empty room next door. Then suddenly, oh, somebody came and knocked you out? <laughs> I stepped through the floorboard. Huh? You stepped through a floorboard? So mean. I'm just still at like a moment of disbelief here. Jeez, that got me good. Cause all this I tripped and fell pretty hard. I'm assuming Kokichi can't take pain good and he's just trying to brush it off. I feel like he's about to cry. Got a minute? If you're gonna lose consciousness, do it after you tell us everything. Ah. Sorry, my bad. I guess there was no cross speed supporting the floorboard, so I kinda stepped through. <laughs> what a bad luck. Crosspeeps was gone? Does that mean... Is our time up? Huh? Confidence! Dreams! That's what the killing game is all about! Killing game fans! Hold your head high and watch with your own two eyes! Baseball! Soccer! Mobile games! They're all nothing compared to the killing game! The killing game just can't be beat! Behold, students! 
the entrance to the trial grounds. Okay, so we're out of time. I guess time's up. Aw, oh, man. It's because you guys I didn't have enough time to check something. Huh? What were you trying to check? See? I wanted to re-research the seance again, so I brought up the document. So I brought this document with me. But unfortunately... I couldn't find anything new that could be useful as a clue. Kyo perfectly reenacted the seance as what was written in the document. He drew the magic circle the exact same way in the picture. Not only that, he used the same exact tools too. Nothing sus suspicious about the whole thing. Okay. Is the book... Is the book only a document for the seance itself in performing the seance does it not have any documentation on the tools used for it i need something to explain what the fuck that dog statue is that's what i'm looking for well i wanted to check the finer details but i'll tell you about it later <laughs> At the class trial, so see you there. <laughs> this dude has a concussion. Kokichi left. The blood loss clearly affected his footing a bit. Bloody Kokichi. Uh, um, <laughs> Let's go too. That's true. Yeah, okay. Is Maki nervous? I see. So even she gets nervous sometimes. Do you wanna die? What are you staring at? Do you want to die? Maybe. If it was by you, Maki, I would surely die. Alright. Well, can we fast travel there? Or do I gotta take the long way? Time for the trial, my favorite part, because I don't have to talk as much. And I can give my voice a break. Oh, hey, Kaito's here. He's oh, fine. Dear. It would appear we all have gathered, but it seems there are less and less of us. I wonder why. Oh. Less friends mean it's that much harder to solve mystery. Don't worry. Well, don't worry. I'm sure you've gotten a little smarter by now, Gonta. Hey, let's not... Let's not pass on Gota here. The dude figured out that you can take the rope and the and the um the tennis net lining or whatever and just make like a bridgeway with it. Mm. Yeah, going to do his best to help. Mm. I want you to graduate from stupid idiot level to at least Kaido idiot level. What? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Are you okay? More importantly, you're right, Kaito. Ah. Yeah, I'm feeling better now. But wow, Makiro sure does pack a punch. I don't know. Oh, I forgot. She punched the shit out of him. <laughs> she just punched him and he started like spitting up blood and he's like, I gotta go lay down. It's like, you sure? It's your fault. <laughs> you don't need to worry about your dwindling numbers. Only dipshits have died so far. <laughs> wow, really? Come on. Really, Mew? Even you can't believe what you just said. Who died so far? Ryoma was pretty smart. Fucking... Kaede was pretty smart. She had all you motherfuckers fooled. Fucking, uh... Kurumi was smart as hell. <laughs> she running the damn country. Who else fucking died? Well, Tenko. Yeah, Tenko was more like... More like, instinctual, I guess. Is that even a fucking word? <laughs> and An Angie was just crazy. I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna fucking defend her. She was just a fucking nut job. That being said... I know it's a tall order, but try to use your brains this time, so I don't have to use mine. Booyah! These golden brain cells of mine are get Says the girl who the first time I met her, she's like, I'm trying to fucking trip off my ass here. These golden brain cells of mine are a gift to the entire world. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Unacceptable. <laughs> it's as though every time you open your mouth, you become less likable. 
uh kyo i think we live in two different worlds every time she opens her mouth i love her more rest in peace atua please please lend your i keep forgetting samugi even exist but it may be difficult for us to rely on atua considering what happened to angie who atua loved most of all well you know she shouldn't have relied on atua in the first place but seriously it's kind of funny seeing a robot believe in god especially atua i also so what? Robots can believe in God. Indeed. Actually, before I even met Angie, I had a similar experience. Hearing voices, I mean. What? <laughs> Are you okay? Did someone program something in here? <gasps> Mew. Mew. You had access to his headspace with those headlights. Don't tell me you did something to him. You might call it an inner voice. It tells me what to do whenever I'm in trouble. Got a minute? How long are you gonna say how long are you gonna say that for? Two and ghosts don't matter right now. Jeez. Yeah, the trial is <laughs> trial this time is gonna be rough. We got caught in Monokuma's trap. Huh? His trap. That's right. He probably made the fourth floor so scary on purpose to prevent me from investigating. Alright, get out of here, Kaido. Alright already. No, he didn't. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way. Hey, so... Suiji, say something. Huh? What should I say? It's not my fault you're a fucking... You little bitch. I'm now starting to doubt Mew. I'm now starting to doubt Mew. I have another theory in my head. God, Mew, please don't die. Oh my god. All right, Mew. I really hope you don't die, Mew. I'm gonna be so fucking mad. As usual, we walk towards the elevator in silence. As soon as we, as soon as we remaining survivors step the board. We descended. Perhaps because there were fewer of us, the elevator seemed to move fast. And so we fell, faster and faster, downward into the black. The elevator stopped, and just like always, the door parted slowly. The light that shines on us from the other side, the bright light of our future. Or is it? Uh -oh. Boy, they look really depressed. Must be because we even, because we even have less participants now. Oh. Don't say they look depressed. You'll make Mono Dam sad. As much as I love to keep hearing this adorable back and forth, excuse me, back and forth, let's hurry up and get this started. Extreme. At least the class trial will begin. At least, at last, the class trial will begin. I hope you enjoy it to your heart's content. The third class trial was. Wait, this is only the third one? Oh shit! What? <laughs> what? Oh no! Oh, that feels bad. The third class trial was about to begin. Angie Yonaga, the ultimate artist. She created the Ultimate Academy Student Council to try and prevent the killing game. Then Tenko Chabisha, oh god, Chabish, Chabashira, fuck, just kill me now. <laughs> then Tenko Chabashira, Shira? I feel like, am I saying that right? Whatever. Tenko, the ultimate Aikido master. She hated men. But I knew that she hated the terrible killing game even more. The two who were killed were both trying to stop the killing. And who was the one who killed them? It is one person. Two different people? We need to pin that down in this class trial. 
In order to live, we have to find the truth. And I will fight for it. I will fight with truth and lies in this class trial. All right. I'm excited. Skills. I keep forgetting I gotta do this shit. All right. Let's see. I think I saved my points for last time. Loss in thought slightly increases the time limit each phase. Effective during parts of the class trial. I can use that. How many points do I have? I have eight points. Really? That's all I have? Fuck. Cool and compose. Make the medical shake less. Eh, I don't have too much problem with that. Slows it down. Happy trigger. Decreases delay. Give me something for, um... Silence on conversations, except we're gonna, okay. Give me something for... Not drive, refute, mine. Give me something for mine. Moves the time penalty for breaking a non irrestable piece effective during imagination investigation. That is... <laughs> That's imagination excavation. My bad, not investigation. That's such a fun, fun phrase to say. Definitely gonna take this. It'll help me out a lot in the long run. High ten- oh shit, what'd I just do? Hold up. Trigger happy. Um... what I just... Wait, what? Oh yeah, I definitely- okay, I skipped all these. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, make it easier to push the opponent back during blade lock. High tension, tension gauge will increase at a faster rate, effective during argument- arg uh, Argument armament. Okay. Um, I don't really have problem with armament. Let me see. What else do we have here? Uh, silence on conversation. Expect those the reticles on. Okay. Intent. Uh, instantly silence loud voices. Effective during mass panic. The keyword of the first speaker argument will be shown from the start. Effective during debate scrum. The keyword in the first speaker's argument will be shown from the start. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I, I know what they're talking about. Um, terror screen will light up more frequently. Clear mine. Increases the amount of letter cubes. Yeah, I'm gonna take that just to make it shorter. Because that's not hard to do. It's just, you know, it takes a bit of time. Alright, class trial start. of the class trial. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Vote correctly and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened and that person will graduate from this academy. Also, refusing to vote will result in your death. So, you better vote for someone. Now, smiles, everyone! It's showtime! Let's get this crazy awesome trial underway! I'm still not gonna forgive the fact that Karumi fucking voted for me last time. Sorry, everyone. I don't think I'm gonna be much help this time. Because of Monokuma's disruptions, I couldn't do a thorough investigation. I can tell Monokuma is overcompensating to hide his self-consciousness. Next time, spend less time fixing your hair and more time investigating, spaceman! Shut up! I don't need to hear some comedy act from you two weirdos. Who did it? Oh, she's mad. <laughs> Who killed Angie and Tenko? Do not let your emotions hasten your judgment. There may be two killers. So, our other culprit might not be one of us here. Why the fuck are you talking like that? Hmm? What do you mean? Is she saying it's a ghost? She's saying it's a ghost. The transfer student. Maybe our resurrected transfer student dragged Angie and Tenko into the grave. 
Stop it! Stop making stuff up! Say something, Shuichi. We'll be a mess if this keeps going on. Is it even possible for a revived corpse to be the culprit? I mean, they need a vessel, and as we clearly saw, all the vessels were still were still in Angie's art room. Well, in the interest of being thorough, I should clear things up here. File, forehead, effigies, upside down. Go with the effigies. By the recently deceased. They came back to life and killed two of our classmates. No! So, ritual did work? Who was resurrected, I wonder? Angie did say she was going to bring Rantaro back. Yes. Rantaro was resurrected. The culprit is the late Rantaro Amami! Please, stop it! <laughs> All these stupid ass effects is funny as fuck. Alright. Now what do we got? Classmates! So, ritual... Come on, get out of here. What? Eh. They can't get up, so are you against it? I was wrong. I am. <laughs> Why does Suichi say it like that? I was wrong. All right, wait, hold up. Effigies. Four wax effigies were created for the resurrection trial. They are exact replicas of late Rantaro. Upside down. Ceiling. Okay, so. Forehead injury laceration. Necronomicon. Is that one of the bullets we're using right now? This crime was committed by the recently deceased. Golden Leaf Katana Necronomicon. They came. Necronomicon. Uh, pray yourself. FG, one souls you wish. So as the shape of FG is irrelevant, make it out whatever materials you wish. If it's not obvious, FG is supposed to be. Label it with the name of the disease. After doing it, be mindful. Sprinkle name as... Well, the fact that we have the book means that the ritual wasn't completed, so... Because <laughs> you have to burn the book, right? So, come on. Come on. Come on! I don't think Angie's ritual succeeded. According to the Necronomicon Monokuma showed us, you have to burn the Necronomicon in the ritual. After preparing the effigy, burn the Necronomicon to ashes. Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. Sprinkle the ashes on the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased three times. Also, turn off the lights and look in a mirror. If Angie's ritual had succeeded, the book would have been gone. So she must have been killed before the ritual was complete, since the book was still intact. Then, Gonta think Rantaro probably not culprit. Good job, Gonta. I can count on you. Oh, I guess you're right. Well, duh. There's no way a dead person could... Resurrect. Now hold on a second. I can't let that comment stand. Sure, everybody knows that you can't bring the dead back to life. So what's your what's your angle here, Monokuma? Are you telling me that you were gonna show like a video or something of their past life? But it's easy at the Ultimate Academy, as long as you use the Necronomicon. What are you talking about? There's no way that's possible. I'm starting to think, why didn't they just call it the Necro Monocon? Forget I said anything. But it's true. I never lie about motives. Bullshit. Daddy said so, so he can't be wrong. Raising the dead is totally possible. Man. I can't believe you guys wasted such a perfectly good motive. You should have let me use it to bring Monodam back to life. Monodam, he's right here. Monodam is still alive, though. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't waste the resurrection on Monodam's corpse. Well, uh, Monotaro's the next one to die. You fucked up. Actually possible this whole time? 
There's no way it's possible! There's no way that could happen, idiots. Monokuma is trying to confuse us. Let's hurry up and find out who the Blackened is. People keep fucking slamming doors in my house. What the hell is going on out there? If our transfer student isn't the culprit, then blame falls to one of us. Who? Who did it? I don't like Mad Himiko. <laughs> She's scary. Step aside, half pint. I'll handle this. I don't know about Tenko, but I'm pretty fucking sure Keo murdered Angie. Damn. What? Just right out with it. Don't play dumb with me, creep show. I already know what happened. She's probably talking about the katana. Nogichi law picking Samugi's account. Wait, Samugi's account? What the fuck is Samugi's account? Uh, as you locked yourself in the ultimate artist lab since yesterday, working on the rituals, she would not unlock the door unless someone from the student council asked her to. The student council members were Gonta, Kibo, Himiko, Tenko, and Samugi. And it was found in Kyo's research lab. Which makes you, Kyo, automatically suspicious! But anyone could have taken that katana, you see. So that rusty katana was the murder weapon. You were the only one who cared about that thing, Kyo. I did not care about some katana. Just admit it, you shit-eating worm. You went to the classroom, broke in. Oh, wait, hold up. And murdered the fuck out of Angie! Okay. Is Kyo really the culprit? Does the story fit the facts? I just want to make sure what it says for lockpicking. Can lock and unlock the front door, the ultimate lab, with his lockpick skills. Yeah, okay, so I'm just going to use his lockpicking for, uh, for break-in. <laughs> Stupid fucking... How their voice just sounds like the, like the chipmunk shit. What? That doesn't count. If the Kyo had the key or not, Angie still would have let him into her lab. What? No, he's not part of the council. From there, he could have pinned her down and murdered her just like that. Your argument against my argument is flawed. What? Makes no sense. <laughs> what? The cup. Okay. Let's see, Angie's been locked herself. We're getting less someone from the. Okay, so I guess I'll just use Snoogie's count then. But I wish it went by a little faster. There you go. I was on the right path, but I used the wrong evidence. No, Kyo would not have been able to enter Angie's lab. Isn't that right, Tsumugi? Yeah. Before Angie locked herself up in her research lab, she said she wasn't going to open up for anyone but student council members. And Kyo is not a member. She wouldn't have opened the door for him. Kyo couldn't have killed Angie even if he wanted to. I had no desire to kill her in the first place. So whoever killed Angie must have been one of the student council members, yeah? Uh, I was doing a bit to lead you to the right answer. Can't believe you actually got it. <laughs> Mew, this is why you're so irreplaceable. Oh, how clever. Gonta, you're precious too. You can just ignore her, Gonta. The remaining student council members are Gonta, Kibo, Sumugi, and Himiko. Well, it can't be Himiko. She was besties with Angie. That's exactly why it could be Himiko. I trust their friendship. You guys do too, right? All right, Kokichi, you're an asshole. Yeah, of course. Can we trust their friendship so readily? Obviously. Let's believe in them. Kokichi just, he's just, a, he's a fucking shit poster. That's just what he is at this point. That trims our list of suspects down to three. Gonta, 
Samugi, and Kibo. Yep, yep. The culprit is one of those three people. Well, it can't be Gonta. I don't think it would be Gonta. He's not. Gonta, Gonta is intelligent. He's just not smart. You mean one of those two people? Because a robot ain't people, Jack. I will let that remark slide. Anyway, aren't these accusations just a tad too hasty? He said, I'll let you, I'll let that one pass. You get the end pass for now. What else? The culprit should confess already. Gonta, Keyboy, or Samugi? Well? No, not Gonta. Gonta would never kill Angie. Yeah, Gonta's a gentleman. You shouldn't suspect either of us. Hey, stick up for me too. <laughs> Gonta definitely not hurt anyone. Torture Gonta if you don't believe. Torture might be a bit too far, but Gonta and I aren't the culprits. I believe Gonta. You, Samugi, I don't. You're too shady. She's been like in the background the whole entire time. And I'm not the culprit either. Jeez. Gonta, I'm not, not the culprit. Not the culprit. All right, front door, back door, lockpick, Necronomicon. Okay, everybody, shut the fuck up for Surely a second. There must be a there must not be Trey student council. Okay. Uh, that's that's utterly impossible. Only student council members had access. Wait, what? I didn't know robots killed such boring lies. But it's definitely not me. Is that a robophobic remark? What the fuck? <laughs> All right, I think I have my uh. You must consider other possibilities. My thinking. A dead chick. Not just anyone can open the words. Only student council members. Way to dig your own hole, jackass. Should have just kept your mouth shut. No. It wasn't just student council members that could have opened that lab door. Hmm. What was it you said earlier about Kyo opening the door, Shuichi? Unless you're a student council member, you can't enter Angie's lab, right? I know he's doing this shit on purpose. I was referring to Kyo. He couldn't have done it, but you could have. Because I saw you open the classroom lock by picking it. Kokichi pulled out some thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. There, open says me. Oh, that happened? I totally forgot. No, you didn't, you piece of shit. So you're going to pretend you don't remember, huh? <laughs> Quit glaring at me like that. Of course I remember. Yeah, I did it. I killed Angie. <laughs> He's such an asshole. <laughs> such a piece of shit. Wait, what? What did you just say? I picked the lock to her lab, snuck into the room, and then wham! Killed Angie. The culprit was me all along. What? What, what are you saying? Is this some kind of joke? Nah, no joke. I thought that if I confessed, I could atone for my sins. And it helped. I feel so much better. Whew! Wait, so Kokichi really is culprit? It's not the culprit, guys. Chill the fuck out. <laughs> no, he's lying. I think. Maybe? He's definitely lying. He's lying. I'm certain of it. No, no. Definitely not a lie. I killed Angie. Shouldn't you guys believe the culprit when they confess? Then let me ask you, culprit. How did you lock the room? Huh? It's the same as opening it. You pick the door closed from the outside? No, that doesn't make sense. Huh? What does it make sense? Can't you lock a door by picking it? I don't think so. I don't think that's how that works. Maybe, but that's not how the culprit locked the room. 
they used a different method. Also, the second lock is a sliding lock. You can't pick that one. What different method? Yeah, Mumbles. Use your big boy voice and explain yourself. I love you, Mew. Uh, there were two doors to the classroom, and the one locked last was... It was the back door. That's it! The back door. That's how they made this a locked room mystery. They used the katana somehow, I just don't know how. The back door had a sliding lock, yes. How was it locked from the outside? The culprit used a certain tool. The tool the culprit used was the katana. Oh shit. Um, fuck. Oh, here it is. Oh, so it wasn't the katana, it was the hilt. Well, that would make sense, because the katana is still in the room. And the hilt was put back... What? How dare you. Okay. If it's not the hilt, then what the fuck is it? it? Can't be the sickle. Wait, how the fuck would it be the katana? What? Where are you going with this, Suichi? I could have sworn it'd be the hilt. You know what? The hilt probably wouldn't have a good enough grip on the uh on the lock. On the sliding lock, at least. The gold leaf katana that was stabbed into Kaede's effigy. The culprit used that to hit the knob of the sliding lock to lock the door. So the gold leaf was on the sliding lock because... Because when the katana hit the lock, some of the gold leaf rubbed off on it. The gold leaf on that katana did peel rather easily. Hmm. That evidence rings a bell. Specifically... A school bell. Huh? Are you talking about a different school? What school was it? Yeah, I think I said that earlier. In like the last stream. I think it was the last stream where we found the katana. And I looked at it and I said, isn't that the same katana from the first game? Now, now, that doesn't matter anymore. Let's not dwell on the past. Ooh, the gold leaf landed on the sliding lock when the katana touched it. So that means the culprit used the katana to move the sliding lock, right? But wait, how did they move it with the katana? And from outside Angie's lab? The clue that might give us the answer is the layout of the area itself. It was an odd setup after all. The katana stabbed into the effigy. The effigies hung upside down. Angie didn't do that as part of the ritual? No. Nowhere in the Necronomicon did it say you had to hang the effigies. Yeah, that definitely cancelled out that theory for me, after reading the Necronomicon. If it was not part of the ritual, then it must have been for a different purpose, right? Different persons. What could have been? Hmm. Cobra somehow used the setup to lock the room. I still... In that case, I need to know the reason behind every step of the setup. If I do that, the way the culprit locked the room should be clear. Psychic taxi drive bullshit. How do I do this shit again? There we go. Alright. Let's see. That slows it down. There's nothing to speed me up, right? I don't think so. Just gotta go. I'm trying to think myself. What the f... I don't think being able to move the effigies around would help that much. Would they? What turned the handle of the lock? It was the katana. 
Wait, what? The katana hill. I think it's the hill. Okay. Alright, so... When I chose the hill earlier during the fucking mining shit, you told me no. <laughs> so I was still right. Okay, game. You're pulling some Phoenix Wright shit right now. Okay. What was done to make the katana turn the lock? Maybe move the effigy around? Let's see. Uh, slide was tampered with, stabbed into the effigy. Maybe? Okay, but how the fuck? So those two things, I... I get kind of I mean my bad fucking I said hill earlier I meant to say sheath the hilt is the handle part I keep forgetting that was the FG manipulated to make the katana effect did they just like turn it around that's the part I don't get Swing back and forth, spin it? I- I'm gonna go with spin it. Okay, but through what system? There has to be like a rope on the outside of the room or something, right? Cause it has an exposed ceiling. Or some shit, how the fuck- I need to know the location where they That's were at it. to do that. The reason the culprit stuck the katana into the effigy was so that it would hit the sliding lock as the effigy spun. Wait, wait, hold up. I'm sitting here thinking, like, maybe they were outside of the room and somehow maneuvered the effigy to hit the lock. Did they just, like, kill Angie, stab the fucking effigy, and just, like, ran towards the door, close it, and on their way out, just slap the effigy and have it spin? Bro, that's, that's too much faith in that, too much faith in that plan, right? It would make sense, though, if it hit the lock with enough force. It is a sliding lock. But even then, even then with sliding lock, th there's too much. That must be the world's most perfect sliding lock ever. Because fucking, even with any other sliding lock, you know, sometimes you slide it across and it's not, like, fully lined up. And you're like, fuck, gotta jiggle it around or something. Effigy spun? That's right. If you spun the effigy, the rope it was hanging from would twist. This is fucking dumb. <laughs> this is dumb. Then, if you let it go, the rope would unwind and the effigy would spin the other way. But think about the amount of time you would need to just line that up. Of course, the katana would spin with it. I see. So the culprit used the katana's counterspin to push the lock into place? And then the force it used to hit the sliding lock would just turn it back around? The culprit simply needed to spin the effigy's rope and then swiftly leave. Oh my fucking this would god. This the spinning katana to hit the sliding lock. You have to suspend your disbelief to believe this shit. This one's a little too much. And thus was the back door of an empty classroom locked from the inside. Yes, that's how Angie's lab was locked. By using the effigy with a katana. A plan born from the heart of a sword traveling through the air to intercept us. Oh, but could it have moved the slide box so easily? The sliding lock was pretty loose. A little push could move it. So if the sliding lock was so loose, there's no fucking way that it would just slide into place like that from just... 
from just like a simple uh right if it was that loot it makes no sense as long as the spinning katana hit the lock it would have slid into position even if the culprit failed the first couple times they could keep trying until it locked then how you know what you know what I keep forgetting Angie was killed at like what two in the morning so they have all the fucking time in the world to do whatever the hell they want. Which is why the culprit chose to strike at nighttime as to avoid detection. All right, see, now I can believe it. I'm forgetting the time of death. Yes, since the student council prohibited anyone from walking around at nighttime. Are you saying it's the student council's fault? I didn't say that. In any case, the culprit probably used the murder weapon for this trick. It had to have been the right length to hit the sliding lock from the effigy. The culprit couldn't find a blade long enough in my lab, so they settled for the katana. The other effigies were only hung up, so we figured it was some kind of ceremony. That way, we wouldn't notice the lock trick. Then why the fuck did they leave the Necronomicon on the floor? They should have got rid of that shit. But, Kokichi did say earlier that he could have picked the lock closed. I don't want to completely ignore that possibility. I do. But I can't imagine the culprit would have done all this just for a distraction. If that's the case, then Kokichi's confession earlier was actually... Seriously? You fucking lied again? Cough it up, Kokichi! Oh, man. You guys got me. Okay, I'm not the culprit. Now what the hell's going on? My headset is like cutting in and out. That's weird. You're telling the truth this time, right? Himiko, watch where you're pointing your fingers. I want to say I'm lying, but I'm not. What? Why did you say you were the culprit? I wanted to lure the culprit out. If I claimed to be the culprit, then the real culprit would agree as well. You get me? My fucking... What the hell is going on with my headset? Why does it keep cutting out? I might need to change headsets. I'll give it like a good... I'll give it like a good 10 minutes if it keeps cutting out like this. And if they pressured me to confess, then that would have looked mighty suspicious. Sheesh. Darn it. It didn't go my way because Shuichi butted in on my plan. Bullshit. You're a liar. You did it just to be an asshole. You and your fucking lies. Go sit in the corner and play with yourself. Okay, I'll start right now. <laughs> All right. So, who's the asshole who set up this locked room mystery? You. I can't hold it up anymore. <laughs> What's the matter? You going soft on me? All right, now? you guys, stop it. Who made the locked room mystery doesn't matter since anyone could have done it. Don't you even understand something as basic as that, you filthy cum dumpster? Oh shit. Cum dumpster! <gasps> finally, someone finally called me a cum dumpster. What the fuck? What? What should we talk about now? Going to cover your precious ears. We must focus not on the locked room, but on who entered Angie's lab. Only one of the student council members or Kokichi could have gained entry. Therefore, the culprit must be among their number. That leaves us with four suspects. Sumugi? Gonta, Kibo, and Kokichi. I find it hard to believe that Kyo doesn't know how to lockpick. Since he's a guy who like studies, you know, how, how, uh, what's wrong for? How societies like interact with each other and stuff like that. I find it hard, especially with all the seances and shit and weird shit he does, that he doesn't know how to lockpick. Don't forget Himiko. She's also a part of the student council. Doesn't matter if she was besties with Angie, she's still a suspect. 
That contradicts what you said earlier, which I can prove using my recording function. It's fine. That's just a waste of time. Hmm? A suspect? I... Never kill Angie! What about Tenko? So, calling all suspects, what should we discuss next? Wh I want to hear everyone's opinion. We're just going to ignore that? Get yourself off the suspect list. What? <laughs> what? Whoa. Why are you trying to lead the debate? You're a suspect too. Silence, outsider. Only the suspect rangers are allowed to speak. S suspect rangers? I agree. Those under suspicion should explain themselves thoroughly. We might catch them with their pants down! Anyway, I want to ask the suspect rangers. What should we talk about? What should we say to get ourselves off the suspect list? Well, guys, I want to hear what you think. Um, that's sort of a difficult question, you know? Gonta not smart enough to know answer to that. Yes, it is difficult to formulate a logical response to that question. Not articulate with words, huh? Don't you guys want to prove your innocence? They don't trust you one bit, and I don't blame them. You're probably plotting. Why He's always plotting. Did Tinko have to die? <laughs> Himiko, what the fuck is your deal? I, I, I have no read on you now at all. At first, she snaps and she goes, I'll never kill Angie. And then now she's like, why did Tenko have to die? Like, why? She's running it back. What are you doing? Huh? I want to know what happened to Angie, too, but... Can we talk about Tenko's case now and not just Angie's? <laughs> I got you exactly where I wanted, Himiko. Um, what do you mean? The two victims could have been killed by two separate murderers, you know. So we need to find the first blackened responsible for the first victim. We've got to figure out who killed Angie. Until we solve Angie's case, Tenko's case is meaningless. Did you suggest that to waste our time? It's not meaningless! Himiko. Tenko's death was meaningless? How dare you! Poor Tenko! How could you do this to her? Himiko. Himiko, stop it with your crappy lies. Lies? Everything you said is total BS. You didn't give two shits about Tenko when she was alive. But now you're like, oh no, poor Tenko, after she's dead. Come on, really? Kokichi, enough! No, he's on the right track. No, it's okay. It's no surprise he'd think that. I know I ignored Tanko before. That's why I'm so upset now. I should have faced Tanko, worked things out with her while she was still alive. But now it's too late. I can't complain to her or thank her. It's too late. Yeah, seriously. It's way too late to realize that now. Our only option is to face her death head on. Yeah. Face her death? Himiko, I understand what you're going through. So I'm going to help you out. Let's work together to find the truth. I'm not going to let anyone say her death didn't matter. K Kaito. All right. I'll put a silencing curse on whoever calls Tanko's death meaningless. The name of the curse is... Death Curse! I, um... Suppose being dead would silence someone pretty good. I still find it hard to believe, Himiko. She's still a suspect to me. Listen up! All you guys are gonna help out too! Abandoning someone who died and only thinking about your own survival. That's just as bad as a hit and run! I won't forgive something so messed up! Tenko was our friend. Gonta want to know why she died too. I already told you that's so unnecessary. We're getting sidetracked here. No, even if it was a different culprit, we need to know how Tenko died. 
If we don't find out who killed her, we won't be able to work together. Not now, not ever. Even if this trial isn't for her, in order for us to survive, we need to get to the bottom of Tenko's death. Not just to survive this trial, but so we can keep going and live on! Mm, Kaido. Finally, you noticed. Jeez, you're so slow. Huh? Did Kokichi want us to notice? Don't listen to his crap. We haven't decided whether there were two different culprits yet. Let us talk about Tenko's case then. Perhaps that will provide us a clue. Yeah, like the fucking passageway under the floorboards. Yeah, maybe. They're not wrong, but... I don't mind going over Tenko's case. But that was an abrupt change of topic. Was that intentional? It's why I don't... It's why I'm not trusting Himiko right now. So, what do we talk about first? For now, let's see if we can narrow down the list of suspects. Tancrouch probably got killed during the seance, so everyone there's suspicious. Tancrouch! The people who attended the seance... <sighs> Yo, Suichi, Himiko, Kokichi. That's it. Four of us. It was me, Kyo, Himiko, and Kokichi. So those four are the culprits! Oh, Himiko's still culprit? Well, that's probably just a coinky dink. The most suspicious out of the four is really... Kyo. He suggested the whole seance idea. I find it super suspicious that Kyo's like, Hey guys, this 175 pound dog statue is super heavy. It has to take the four of us to do it. <laughs> I find that so suspicious. True. I may have suggested it, but I explained the procedure beforehand, yes? If we all knew of it before the murder, then we are all equally suspicious. Well, I suppose, but... In addition, the seance wasn't entirely in my control either. I was not the one who selected the room we performed it in. It was Himiko. God damn it. However, there are three empty rooms. Which one shall we use? The middle room. The middle room always best for stuff like this. Very well. Stuff like this. Stuff like what? Stuff like sleight of hand? Magic tricks? Deceit? Very well. I shall begin the preparations at once. Oh, right. Also... We should not limit our suspects to only those who participated in the seance. The empty room had a point of entry from outside, you see. A point of entry from outside? He must be referring to... The hole in the ground! There! That's like super hard to see in that picture. You're talking about under the floor, right? Huh? Under the floor? Yes, there's a crawl space under the floor a person can move through. There was also a hole that connected it to the neighboring room. If the culprit used the hole, they could have entered and exited the seance room. If we consider that possibility, then there is another suspect. Another suspect? Who? I don't think it would be Gonta. <laughs> it's appearing before me. Oh, I can see it clearly. The true identity of Tenko's killer. Don't you dare point your finger at Maki. I'll slit your throat. I'll do it. Case child, stone marker, blue floorboard. The sneaked in during the seance. By crawling under the floor. But it was pitch black during the seance. How could they even see if they were under the floor? Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see, our light? You mean candle? I mean Kibo's flashlight function. Can't be Kibo's function. See, uh, he can emit a blinding light from his eyes. Yeah. Huh? Now hold on a second. 
Kibo could have used that function to get under the floor. No, he couldn't have. Fuck. Does the term blinding not help me? The fact that it's super bright. I was wrong. The culprit sneaked in during the seance. Uh, hole in the corner. By crawling loose floorboards. Floor. Well, let me read up on these just to get all the information. Uh, right below Tenko. Uh, loose board seance. There's dry blood at the bottom. Case child. Uh, circle on the ground for the cage dog village. Ground spear medium. Pest head of Preparations. Place an iron cage. Finally, turn off all the lights. Make completely dark and your preparations will be complete. Would that help me? The fact that it says it will be completely dark and that we saw no light whatsoever? Uh, what's my other stuff? Stone marker. On the corner. Uh, stone marker. Tenko crouched over on the stone. I don't think that'll help me. Hold the corner. Holes in the corner. Yeah. There's space on the floor. See, okay. I'm gonna go with hole in the corner. You see, our villain had a light. Light? You mean candle? I mean Kibo's flashlight function. Huh? Now hold on a second. Kibo could have used that function to get under the floor and sneak into the empty room during the seance. I said, hold on a second. He used his robot functions to commit the murders. Hold on a second. Okay, I just want to see if there's another contradiction in there. The culprit sneaked. All right, I'm gonna use a uh, home the corner for his flashlight eyes. On um, use statement. You. Oh shit, really? Cramped on the floor, but there's enough room for one person to move around. Especially if they had Kibo's flashlight. I'm trying to the culprit sneaked in. What I'm trying to prove is that his flashlight is too fucking bright. Fine, I'll, I'll use the, I'll use the cage child then. During the seance, by crawling under the floor. But it was pitch black during the seance. How could they even see if they were under the floor? Sure, he says it wasn't dark under the floor. You see, our villain had a light. Light? You mean candle? Uh, loose floorboard, right below Tenko, was not loose before Seance, there was dry blood. Could I use that? I don't think I can use the stone marker for anything. The stone was by Tenko's body during Seance, Tenko's been crouched over, iron cage, with her forehead on the stone. All are. I really I feel like it's that statement. Huh? Now hold on a second. Kibo could have used that function to get. I really feel like it's this statement I have to like refute. What I missed? And sneak no! <laughs> Damn it! Our villain had a light. Our villain had a light. Really? That doesn't do anything on that either. So it's not that statement. That's so weird to me. So, their forehead, center of the circle. Finally, turn off all the lights. Depends all four. I guess the last thing I can use the cage child towards oh, no. that, but the if it doesn't work, then the that's sales. not the statement. <laughs> if it doesn't work, then that's not the statement, and I'm stupid. I'm super dumb. 
Our villain had a light. I mean, Kibo's flashlight function. Huh? Now, hold on a second. Kibo could have used that function to get under the pool. Okay, yeah, so definitely, uh... So it's probably not that, um... That statement, then. What the fuck? What's that? They had a light. The floorboards. Child. Hmm. There's dry blood on the bottom of the floor. Stone marker. The stone was... Stone marker. Is there any possible way they could have used the stone marker to help them get there? I don't think... I don't think so. It's just a piece of stone, right? It doesn't glow or anything. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it possible that the fucking stone glows under the dark? Because we wouldn't be able to see it because there's a fucking tarp over it. Hold up. What the fuck? Really? The culprit sneaked in during the seance. Wait. Hold up. No fucking way. But it was pitch black during the seance. How could they even see if they were under the floor? Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see, our villain had a light. I don't deny the what fact that they need a candle? light. I mean, Kibo's flashlight function. I just don't think it's Kibo's function. Huh? Now hold on a second. Kibo could have used that function to get under the floor. All right, well then I'll use the stone marker on the fucking light. Oh, no. That's the, the only way I can think outside the, the box right now. On that. I'm definitely gonna get a game over here, by the way. Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see. I missed. That's great. That's great. That's amazing. I missed twice. Light? You mean candle? I mean Kibo's flashlight function. Huh? No. This is the worst. This is the worst I've ever done in this game. They were under the floor. Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see. Oh, had a light. Okay. The room is dark. There'd be no light. No. Okay. Well, yeah. I was wrong. The culprit. I'm just at a point where I'm starting to use everything on everything. That's great. Sneaked in during the seance hmm. by crawling under the floor. But it was pitch black during the seance. How could they even see if they were under the floor? Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see, our villain had a light. Light? You mean candle? I mean Kibo's flashlight function. Huh? Now, hold Might on as well. a second. Might as well use the case Kibo child on it. That Might as well. I got nothing to lose. I got everything to lose. Damn it. Need to think it over. Hmm. Guess my way of thinking is just flawed on that one. Okay, child. Please let The culprit sneaked in. Let's see. In order to perform the cage, include the spear medium. First draw a magic circle passed down from the cage dog. Then the spear medium will place forehead on the stone and curl up like a turtle. Let's do this in the center of the circle. At the four, make the following preparation. Place the iron cage over the spear medium and then cover the cage with a white cloth. 
Finally, place the dog god on top of the cage. Take care not to step on the magic circle during the preparations. Finally, turn off all the lights to make it completely dark and your preparations will be complete. The sounds will commence once all four preparations, uh, par preparations. participants <clears throat> stand at the corners of the room. The four participants, including the spirit medium, will sing the cage song. Wait, what? Four participants. Oh, not included the spirit medium. Okay. Not including it, we'll sing the song. Spirit medium will reply in the voice. Okay. At last, long last, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Kibo slash a function. You add a Kibo's light. Emitting a blinding light from his eyes. Okay. Blinding light. For the seance, there was dried blood at the bottom. So we have that, we have the stone marker, right? And then our other piece of evidence is hole in the corner. Hole that was in the corner of the room! The seance was held in there, space on the floorboard, so you can see what was... Wait, so you can see what was dropped on there, okay. Enduring the seance by crawling under the floor. Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see, I don't think this would work, but yeah, I don't think this is working. I don't think it's the time to lie right now. Damn it! The culprit sneaked in during the seance by crawling under the floor. But it was pitch black during the seance. I feel stupid if this works. <laughs> I feel stupid if this works because I was so focused on Muse, um, on Muse comment. You see. Stop. I was so focused on Muse part of the comment because she went into more specific detail that I just completely glossed over that. I'm a fucking idiot sometimes. Sometimes I overthink things. There was a hole in the corner of the room. If a light were used, it would have leaked through and we would have seen it. But when we did the seance, the room was definitely pitch black. So a light was not shined under the floor, which means you cannot claim I am the culprit. The only thing I can think of now is if that fucking rock has some type of glow-in-the-dark properties. Jeez. Here I thought this would be the case where the murder could only be done by a robot. You have accused me of being the culprit more than once now simply because I am a robot. My status as a robot does not mean I am capable of performing superhuman feats. Yeah, it does. My vision is somewhat poor, and I only possess average physical strength and intelligence. You possess below average physical strength, which is a superpower in itself. All right, all right, you made your point. God. Now I feel sort of bad for you. I neither want nor need your pity. There you go, Kibo. Enough with the flashlight! It's way too bright! It would have been difficult to move around under the floor in that pitch black darkness. The stone can glow in the dark. That's my only thought Maybe process right now. the floor have nothing to do with this case. Then why was floorboard under Tanko lined up funny? Going to think that was so culprit could stab Tanko from under floor. Ooh, nice observation, Gonta. Are you finally getting used to the class trials? I think that's just a leftover part of them killing Angie somewhere else. Uh huh. Thank you. Don't say it like that. You're better off not being used to this kind of stuff. Maybe they marked Tenko with glowing paint and looked for that. That'd let the culprit find her. Then they could stab her through the floorboards. I'm calling it right now. Kyo's the culprit. I'm calling it right now. I'm not changing my answer. Himiko, you're off scotch free. Kyo, you're the culprit. Boy, that sounds really familiar too. But I'm just gonna ignore it. That's a reference to Dangarampa too. Her corpse didn't have any trace of glowing paint, though. Oh, yeah. 
So then, why was that floorboard loose? The loose floorboard was the one under Tenko, right? If the culprit used it while she was still alive, she'd totally notice. Who fucking cares? Fussing over that won't get us closer to the culprit! We shouldn't dismiss this line of inquiry, however. Instead of butting our heads against this, how about we concentrate on another issue? What other issue? Perhaps first, we should figure out how and when exactly Tenko was killed. She was killed during the seance. When? So not during seance? Tenko was in the metal cage for the whole seance, wasn't she? How could someone have gotten to her there? Maybe the culprit killed her before she went under the metal cage. That's not possible. She was alive at that point. This is the point of no return, Tenko. After this point, you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, you will be Angie. It will be Angie speaking through you. Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Yes. She was unmistakably alive when the seance began. That was right before we blew out the candles. But when the light came back... The floorboard was removed at that point. So it's likely she was already dead then. So she was killed when the room was dark? But she was inside Cage, right? Going to think it unpossible to kill her then. <laughs> unpossible. And she wasn't killed when the room was dark. It was a different time. A different time? How the fuck should I know? You figure it out, shitheads. Huh? Since Gonta said it was impossible, I'm proposing an alternate theory. Let's hear it, Mew. Now hurry up and think! If you want to make my golden brain tingle, start circle jerking your limp dick brains! All right. Stone marker cage. I, I'm thinking it's when that stone marker. Killed, it wasn't during the seance. It could not have been done at any other time. She was under the cage the whole time. She, she was. was dead when the cage was lifted. <laughs> what about moment cage was lifted? Like that. When Cage lifted, Culprit stabbed Tango real fast. So fast, no one saw. <laughs> so fast, no oh, one why? saw it. So who lifted the cage? It was Himiko. Uh, it was me. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mew. Shit. Shit. Himiko is the culprit. There's no did it. When we did the flashback, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she was killed before. Got killed, she was killed during the preparations. During the seance. It could not have been done at any other time. It's the dog statue. She was under the cage the whole time. She was. That's true. She was dead when the cage was lifted. That's true as well. What about moment cage was lifted? <sighs> like that. When Cage lifted, Culprit stabbed Tango real fast. So fast, no one saw. <laughs> oh my! So who lifted the cage? Uh, it was me. <laughs> then obviously Himiko is the culprit. I'm just trying to find an opening. As to where I would throw the dog statue in there. Tenko not being killed during the seance. That might not be impossible, but there's no evidence for that. Yeah. It was put on top of the iron cage during the seance. It weighs about... Okay. okay. Worked together to pull it up and remove it from the cage. What is her... Do we have a we have a second Monokuma file, right? Dried up sickle cross. Oh, you piece of shit, Monokuma! Oh God! 
because we're not looking for her killer, Monokuma didn't give us a Monokuma file for her, so we're just assuming her cause of death. Tenko died in a crouched position. The injury on the back of her neck was deep, but probably not enough to kill her. She died from the blood loss from the exit wound. It's the fucking dog statue. When Tenko got killed, it wasn't during the seance. It could not have been done at any other time. She was under the cage the whole time. Yeah, she was under the cage the whole time. I guess I'll use it on um. What about moment cage was I don't, I don't know why I would refute that, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to agree with it. It's possible she was killed after seance. I'm trying to find a way to agree with that, man. I was wrong. When How would Tenko I? When got killed, it wasn't during the seance. It could not have been done at any other time. She was under the cage the whole time. I'm just trying to find which statement to throw it at. I would use. I'll probably throw it on Himiko's, right? When she was dead, when the cage was lifted. I'm gonna try Dog Statue with Kokichi's statement. What about moment cage was lifted? Hmm. If the Cobra killed her when they opened the cage, the only Himiko could have done it. Damn it! Okay. Tenko got killed. It wasn't during the seance. It could not have been done at any other time. She was under the cage the whole time. She was dead when the cage was lifted. What about moment cage was lifted? No one saw. So who lifted the cage? Was it Keo who went back and lifted the um? Hmm. It's one of those two. White sheet. She was covered in iron cage and the sounds very thick. Blood on, the, uh, blood on the back, in the middle of the sheet. There's no hole in the fabric. Iron cage. Iron cage Tenko was during the seance. Um, it is around, around. <laughs> it is around, around three feet. I had like a stroke reading that. <laughs> uh, Sweet Chi and Kukishi placed it over Tenko, and Himiko removed it. Tenko's blood was on the bottom of the cage. Now, what does it say about the dog statue? Wooden statue, we all put it on together. And what's the other piece of evidence that we're using here? When Tenko got killed, Stone marker, sick on the floor. It could not have been done at any other time. She was under the cage the whole time. And she was dead when the cage was lifted. What about moment cage was lifted? Would I use the sickle on Gonto's thing? The cage lifted? Cooper stack angle real fast! Hmm. So fast? No one saw! Let me just read what the sickle says. So under the floor, rumors, uh, the sand was held. The blade was about six inches and the blood was still wet. So who lifted the cage? Obviously, Himiko is the culprit. Oh shit, that went by so fast. Oh really? I can't use it on that one. Oh no. Then I'll use it on going to when statement. Tenko Fuck it. It wasn't during the seance. It could not have been done at any other time. She was under the cage. I'm probably overthinking this shit again too. That's the worst part about it. What about moment cage? Was lifted. Hmm. Move out of my way. Oh, really? The wet paint wouldn't help with that? Come on. I mean, not wet paint. What am I saying? Wet blood?
Does it say was the blood dry or not? Sheet that was sort of iron cage during the seance, very thick, cannot be seen. Blood on the background of the sheet, but there's no hole in the fabric. Oh no! Hmm. When Tanko got killed, it wasn't during the seance. It could not have been done at any other time. She was in the cage the whole time. And she was dead when the cage was lifted. Oh, were you human? What about moment cage was lifted? Hmm. That's wrong! No, it wasn't possible to kill her the moment the cage was lifted. Because the inside of the white cloth had Tenko's blood on it. That cloth was removed before the cage was lifted. See, that's what I'm... That's what I'm saying. I'm like, who went back and removed the cloth? Because it wasn't Himiko. That's why Kyo is so shady to me right now. First of all, I don't know whose corner was whose. Right? I don't feel like... I don't think it was Kyo's corner. But at the same time, since Kyo is the person... Let, let's say the stone does glow in the dark, right? Kyo's the dude who's like super adamant. He's like, no, no. I'm gonna put the sheet over it. Because if you motherfuckers can see that shit can glow in the dark, I'm fucked. If Tenko was stabbed then, there wouldn't be blood on the clock. What? But how could my golden brain be wrong when it felt so... so right? The only possibility is that Tenko was killed during the seance. I got your remodel right oh, what the here. fuck? I'm trying to think right now, damn it. No. It's still wrong to think that Tenko was killed during the seance. What? I'm gonna prove it right now. My golden brain is gonna go all out! But I don't get a fucking brain aneurysm in the process. Tenko's last moments. Tenko died after the seance. It happened when the sheet was lifted. That was the moment the culprit chose to stab the fuck out of Tanko through the cage! They stuck the thin blade through the gaps of the cage. Oh shit. And that clean white sheet got stained blood red! But the weapon was a sickle. Only the blade could have fit through the gaps. The blade's all you need. Oh shit. If you stick the blade through a gap in the cage, it'd be long enough to reach Tenko. True. Sitting in there with her neck all exposed. Damn it. I got a little too happy. Oh no! I think I gotta push the argument further. The oh shit. All you need. My health is really that low? Oh fuck. You stick the blade through a gap in the cage. I gotta stop fucking It'd around be here. Long enough to reach Tenko. Oh shit. Sitting in there with her neck all exposed. She wasn't that far from the cage's gaps. In which case, the person who lifted the sheet is the... And that's none other than Keo! Has to be... Has to be a hole in Mew's logic somewhere. The blade's all you need! If you stick the blade through a gap in the cage, it'd be long enough to reach Tenko! Sitting in there with her neck all exposed! There you go. I'll cut through your words! Wait just a minute. Tenko wasn't sitting down inside the cage. I'm thinking of something right now. What if... What if my logic is a little backwards, right? It's a lot of backwards. What if it's a little backwards? I'm thinking, hey, is it possible that... that somehow she got stabbed through the blanket? Which, A, it's not possible because there's blood on the weapon. And B, because there's no puncture wound, even though, even though the sheet is durable or some shit, I don't know what it is. What if they, what if, what if they just like taped, what if they just taped the sickle on the back of the fucking, <laughs> on the back of the blanket? Since Kyo was so adamant about placing it, right, and removing it. What if he just taped it up there, and then the pressure from the 
dog statue was enough pressure to just stab her in the neck right on the spot, right on that stone marker, right there, right? Also, give me a second here. I would like to like to look at the evidence real quick. Where is the cage child? <clears throat> Dark place, no light. On the ground, spear medium, place their forehead on the stone. Okay, just make sure that the stone is there. The stone and curled up like a turtle. Making sure it's part of the ritual. That he didn't just throw the stone in there at the last second. I said, hey, put your head on that stone. She was bent over with her forehead against the marker stone. And the cage itself was about three feet tall. The sickle's blade was too short to reach Tenko while she was in that position. Which is why the pressure of the dog statue would just... Watch out! Mew. Everyone already knows you're an embarrassment to the human race. Yeah, no worries. Oh, wow, Gonta. Ah! How, how embarrassing! If Shuichi is right, then it's impossible for Tenko to have been killed through the cage. She was killed in the cage. She couldn't have been killed during the seance since she was in the cage, right? If she was killed then, the cloth over the cage would have been pierced. Did Keo ask her to... When Keo said, don't say anything, was it before or after we put the fucking dog statue on her? Because if it was before, that can definitely explain why <laughs> why she didn't say anything. Not during the seance or from below the floor. Then it's impossible, isn't it? Yeah, for a living person. Huh? I shut the hell up. <laughs> what if Angie's spirit killed Tenko? What are you talking about? Th th that's not possible. You don't know that. Some things are impossible for a human, but not for a spirit. D don't say stupid stuff like that. S screw spirits. I think if you're scared of spirits, the last thing you should say is screw spirits. Stop that now. Oh, is Maki scared too? <laughs> Angie's spirit killed Tenko? But why? Because she's a cult leader? Himiko? Why would Angie's spirit kill Tenko? What if Tenko killed Angie, and then Angie's spirit came back for revenge? Like I said, that's impossible! Spirits can't be culprits! Then explain how the culprit killed Tenko under these impossible circumstances. Well, uh... You can't explain, can you? Only a spirit could have done Wait, it! Wait! I know! What if the culprit was hiding inside the cage? I'm telling you, they put the sickle on the inside of the cage, the force of the dog statue, watch how, just right, right in the back of the neck. If they were in there, they could have stabbed Tenko during the seance. No. If there was someone else in the cage, we would have I noticed. I agree with Kaito. The culprit could have been inside the cage. Can I look at the murder weapon again, please? <laughs> Bloody Kokichi. Hmm. I was hoping maybe see like a piece of tape on it or something. It would make sense in the confusion because Kyo, again, was the one who picked up the tarp. He could have easily just fucking picked up the sickle while uh, they were all distracted by the dead body and just threw it down under the floorboards. You do. Nonsense. There was no space in the cage for the culprit to hide. Yeah, but for the weapon, though. Maybe the culprit wouldn't need to hide in the first place. What? Also, the culprit could have killed her in the cage at any time. I think you know what I'm getting at, right? The weapon? The they that she refers to. What? The fuck are you talking about? Are you talking about Tenko? You smoking right now? Tell me I'm wrong. 
I believe Maki is referring to Tenko herself. What? What did you say? Are you saying Tenko is the culprit? She committed suicide. Bullshit. S suicide? If she committed suicide, it would explain a lot of things we couldn't figure out. Listen, I didn't want to say that was a possibility because I really didn't believe it. But it was a possibility I did think about. She volunteered to be in the cage and then stabbed herself during the seance. Hmm. It wouldn't matter how dark the room was. But the sickle she was stabbed with was under the floor, right? If Tenko had stabbed herself, wouldn't the sickle still be inside the cage? Uh, oh my god. Mew actually said something smart. <laughs> he said, oh my god. Perhaps that explains why the floorboard was removed. That line's delivery was great. After stabbing herself with the sickle, she threw it underneath the floor. No, I don't... I don't... <laughs> I still don't believe it. I don't believe it was a suicide. So she took off the floorboard to get rid of the sickle? Yes, that makes sense to Gonta. Well, it doesn't make sense to me. I agree with Himiko. There's no reason for Tanko to commit suicide. Maybe I wasn't too far off with the theory I had earlier. You know, about Tenko killing Angie. Yeah. Because Tenko and Angie were fighting for your attention, right? Hey, Angie. Why'd you bring... <laughs> when did you brainwash Himiko? Tenko's pent-up frustration led her to commit such an atrocity. Her conscience couldn't handle it anymore. So she decided to end her own life. I don't think it was a suicide. What? That's why I rolled out that theory a long time ago. But... If she was going to kill herself, why do it during the seance? She wanted to hide the truth of her suicide. Really? Why? But she would have left a note or something. I don't think I don't think she would do it in a spur of moment if she was planning suicide. She would have left a note so Himiko wouldn't have to go through this shit, right? There could only be one reason to hide it in the killing game, right? It's to take us down with her. I don't think she's that sadistic. Take us down? She wanted us to pick the wrong answer during the class trial. So she could bring us all down. She wanted us to die with her. Okay, well, she probably just wanted Himiko to die with her. But still. <laughs> but what are you saying? Tinko wasn't like that. She told me. Keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. What if all of that was just a lie? A lie? Wait! We should believe Tenko's last words! The true terror of class trials is that you shouldn't believe everything said. Himiko, you said that Tenko would never do anything like that. But how can you be so sure? Did you guys actually know each other? People keep all sorts of secrets. Like Maki. She hid the fact that she's a cold-blooded killer. She's not a cold-blooded killer. She's just a killer, okay? Is it wise of us to trust other people wholeheartedly in this kind of situation? Says the liar. Jeez, you're such a naive dude. Naive? We're all just people, you know? Of course we're gonna have some secrets. What matters is whether there's any malice behind them. People can lie about how malicious their hidden secrets really are. Well, duh. It's impossible to know for sure what others are thinking. That's why it all comes down to whether or not you believe in yourself. If you get betrayed, it's not their fault. It's your fault for believing in them. That's why I believed in Maki Roll, because I wanted to believe in her. Just because you're acting all cool doesn't mean you get to skip training. Ha! Hey, come on. Don't you think you're being a little too strict? Well, we come from different backgrounds. So for now, let's agree to disagree. No one's ever called me naive before. And from Kaito? Seriously? Wow. 
<laughs> he talked that one to heart. <laughs> oh shit. Kokichi is not happy about that. Whether or not I believe, my heart can't reach Kiko anymore. But I want to believe in her. She wouldn't commit suicide. She wouldn't try to take us down. That's what I want to believe. Me too. Gonta, no can believe Tenko commits suicide. But if Tenko did commit suicide, that would answer all of our questions. If it would, true. You believe in Tenko, then provide a reason to do oh, shut up, Kyo. I know you're the killer. A proper reason. Alright, I'll give oh. you a reason. Is there a reason? Yes, there is. Oh, come on, Maki. Believe in me. Trust me, Maki. If it turns out I'm wrong, you can blame me all you like. <laughs> I'll take responsibility, Maki. But for now, I need you to trust in my detective work. I don't believe Tenko would kill herself because of what she said. Okay, everyone. I'll see you guys at the seance. Okay, wait a minute. So she was still talking when the statue was on it. She said, see you guys after. I doubt she had a sudden change of heart. Is the thud sound just... I still believe... Hmm. Alright. I'm assuming no one got a good look at the, uh... Salt circle in the middle of the floor when everything was going crazy. Actually, you know what? We have a fucking screenshot of it. What the hell am I saying? I'm trying to think. It's something with that fucking dog statue. Just because you don't know how she was killed doesn't mean that it was a suicide. We shouldn't be satisfied with that. And if we keep thinking, we'll find the truth. And that means we all have to believe in Tenko. I'll make them all believe. Whether they want to or not. So far, suicide seems to be the best explanation. Oh, come on, Maki, stop fighting me. The plan me. was to take us down with her. So she hid her true intentions. Tinko's not that kind of person! Uh, Tinko died in a crash position. The injury on in the back of her neck was deep, but probably not enough to kill her immediately. But if Tinko did commit suicide, it would explain how she died during the seance. She could have secretly brought the sickle and then stabbed herself with it. Finally, with the last of her strength. Okay, hold up. Last of her strength. She threw the sickle underneath the floor. All the pieces fit. Hmm. Everyone thinks that Tenko committed suicide, but only because they're latching onto the earliest answer. I'm the earliest, easiest answer. To get out of this, I need to make them think suicide theory wouldn't work. Well, I can't dispute it with her last moments, because he said with the last of her strength. Huh. To kill her immediately. And you know, since that already... Alright, fuck. So far, suicide seems to be the best explanation. Her plan was to take us down with her. So, well, Monokuma so File 3? Isn't that Angie stuff? Let's see... Angie victim. Victim was killed by fatal stab wound on the back of the neck. Intentionally, she has lacerations on her forehead. The second victim... Oh, okay, wait. She's added to the... Okay, I didn't think she was added to the Monokuma file. I thought she had her own separate one. Thought it would be called Monokuma file 4, but since it's case 3, makes sense. Second victim, Tenko. Victim's body was discovered. Vacant room on the fourth floor. Time of death is 11 a.m. The victim was stabbed in the back of her neck, resulting in death. No other injuries were detected. Hmm. She hid her true intentions. Tenko's not that kind of person! But if Tenko did commit suicide, it would explain how she died during the seance. She could have secretly brought the sickle and then stabbed herself with it. Finally, with the last of her strength. I don't know. I'm just throwing that there just to have something to throw. Ugh. 
Oh shit, <laughs> I didn't know I had two hearts left. Fuck, alright. Her plan was to take us down. Take us down. Okay, mm. child is yet again another piece of the puzzle here. Chance will come in all fours. Hmm. I'm with her, so she hid her true intentions. Let's try using the cage child on um, what you call it, on Kyo's statement. And then stab yourself with it. Or we could use it on Mew's statement. Who cares? Yeah, we can use it on a new statement. I'll take the, uh, I'll take the hit. But before, but before we continue onward, I have to use the bathroom real quick. So I'll be back in five minutes. It's something like that. So see you guys in a little bit.
All right. We are back. Sorry for the wait. Hopefully I didn't take too long. Had to use the bathroom. All right. Now, what the hell were we doing? Something with, um... Something with, uh... What the fuck are we even trying to prove right now? Is this... We can't let it end here. I got two game overs this trial, by the way. That sucks. What the hell am I trying to prove right now? Bio 3, Cage. Trying to prove that Tenko went into a suicide. Her plan was to take a Okay. Case child. I said, I think I said, sorry for the burp, by the way. Didn't mean to do that. Drink. That's what happens when you drink salsa water. I said that I wanted to use this on view statement. Because, because I don't think she'd be able to, you know, hide a sickle. But if Tenko did commit suicide, it would explain how she died during the sale. Unless fucking Maki opens her mouth, she she's like, she could have, she could have put it under her shirt. Oh, she says secretly. Fuck. Could have hidden the sickle under her clothes. Shut up, Maki. I was hoping you didn't open your mouth. If Killer girl says so, then I believe. <laughs> then I believe it. Oh no. Asshole. All right, so we're not going to refute that. So far, suicide seems to be the best explanation. Oh, <laughs> thanks for the follow. How do I pronounce that? Is it? Is it? Luo? Luau? Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Either way, uh, can call you Lex if it's easier. That is very easy. Thank you. <laughs> Got a favorite character in this game? It's between Maki and Mew. And I'm surprised they survived this long. And I'm so scared that they're gonna die at any moment now. If either of those two die, I'm gonna be very upset. Top three is Gonta, Gonta, Kaito, and Himiko. Himiko's great. I do like Himiko. Kaito's, Kaito has grown on me, and Gonta's precious. We must protect him. Protect his innocence, at least. Fucking, what the hell? I guess it would be her last moments then, but... Hmm. <laughs> Top three females, Kaede, Tenko, and Maki. Top three males, Suichi, Kokichi, and... A lot of people like Kokichi. I've noticed that. And I can see why. He's a playful little asshole. In more ways than one. But... <laughs> Kokichi is definitely... If I had to pick the gayest character in the room, it's definitely Kokichi. He has this femininity about him, and I like it. He's in touch with his feminine side. And, wait, what? Oh, top five. I, I reread that, and I was like, what? Kaede? <laughs> top male character? What? <laughs> top five, Suichi, Kaede, Kokichi, Mew, and Himiko. I think Tenko is the most LB. Yeah, she's definitely a super lesbian. <laughs> She's definitely super lesbian out there. She's like, um... If you ever watch, like, the old Powerpuff Girl, there's, like, this female villain that the Powerpuff Girls let go, and when they're talking to her, they're in her house, and there's, like, a picture of two cats licking each other. And she's like, we girls gotta stick together. And I'm like, wow. Talk about subtle. Okay. Uh, victim was killed by fatal stab wound back. Yes, that's Angie. What the fuck do you mean my battery is low? How dare you? How dare you tell me my battery is low? I definitely charged this shit earlier. Uh, where the hell is my water? Here we go. There's a charge now. Is it charging now? Is that what we're doing? It's charging. Okay, cool. <laughs> There's a drinking game, and Angie talks about Atua, and when Tenko says, Oh, you'd be dead. You'd be dead by the end. By the end of, like, Act 1. By the end of Prologue. <laughs> you just die. Alright. So, what the fuck... ...am I doing here? <laughs> Where is Tenko's... ...moments? Because I just want to look at that again. 
Tinko died, crouched in position, injury back of the neck was deep, but probably not enough to kill her immediately. Her plan was to take us down with her. So she hid her true intentions. Tinko's not that kind of person! But if Tinko did commit suicide... She didn't commit suicide, guys. It would explain how she died during the seance. She could have secretly brought the sickle. And then stabbed herself with it! Finally, with the last of her... I'm not sure if this will work or not, but fuck it. Yeah, okay. Definitely not. She wouldn't have been able to throw it away in no time, yeah, because she didn't die instantly. Unless her death was instant, which it wasn't. And I can't say that she didn't hide it, because she could have put it under so her clothes. Seems to be the best and what Kokichi's just saying, I feel her like it's bullshit. To take us down with her. So she hid her true intentions. But if Tenko did commit suicide... Did I, did I ever throw... It would explain oh, wait, Hole in the Corner is one of them. I didn't even know Hole in the Corner was one of the evidence we were using for this shit. Okay, hold up. Hole that was in the corner of the room, seance hell, there was space on the floor, so you can see what was dropped down there. Okay, yeah, so... The sickle was dropped in that location, which I'm pretty sure Kyo threw down there. Finally, with the last... Oh, really? Come on. You serious? Would have been able to throw it. Yeah, she would have been able to throw it, but not in that direction, you piece of shit. When we found the sickle, it was near the hole. Damn it! What? So far, suicide seems to be the best explanation. Her plan was to take us down with her. So she hid her true intentions. Brought the sickle. Brought the sickle and to the Finally, with the last of her strength. Yeah, I don't think that would. Okay. See, last time I was stuck, I was overthinking it like an idiot. This time, I just don't know what the fuck is going on. Suppose unless death was instant. Yes, I know, which oh, we no. can't prove because it was an instant. Da -da -da, all this other bullshit. Forehead on stone, curled up like a turtle. Tinko's bowman, iron cage, white sheet, stone marker, dog statue. Mm -hmm. During the sounds, there was a loud sound. Hole in the corner. Hole in the corner. Would I use that on fucking muse statement? So far, suicide seems to be the best explanation. Because that would just tell the location of it, right? Like in a fucking roundabout way. Ah, shit. Dude. She could have hit it under her clothes. But it was in the corner. We found it in the corner. Just look at wrong. it. Just look at it, damn it. So far, suicide seems to be the best explanation. Her plan was to take us down with her. So she hid her true intentions. Tinko's not that kind of person! Hmm. But if Tinko did commit suicide, it would explain how she died during the seance. This one I'm actually tripped up on. Last moment. Finally, with the last of her strength, she threw the sickle underneath the floor. All the pieces fit. Everyone thinks that Tenko committed suicide, but only because they're latched onto the easiest answer. To get out of this, I need to make them think suicide theory wouldn't work. So find a plot hole in the suicide theory. Which, this wouldn't help me at all. Hole in the corner I thought would help me, but you know, I'm fucking sure. Or no, but unless I, I guess I gotta use it on Kyo's statement. Not Kyo's, um, the fuck is his name? Kokichi's statement, maybe. Let's see. 
Monokuma file. Time of death. Discovered in a vacant room on the fourth floor. Estimate time of death. Victim was stabbed back of her neck, resulting in death. No other injuries were detected. I don't think that would help at all. That's just telling me the injuries. Time of death, blah, blah. And then the other one we have is the case child, which I don't think that's going to help at all either. So it's probably the hole in the ground. Try to manage circle, pass down for the cage. Da -da -da. Curl up like a turtle. Must be in the center circle. After that, four must make the following preparations. Must wait for the cage. Take care not to step on the magic circle. Then they turn off all the lights. Dance will commence. All four participants stand in the corner of the room. Sing the song except for the medium. The spirit medium will reply in the voice of the spirit that you have summoned. I guess I'll just throw... All I can think of is just throw the fucking... the hole at so far, Tokichi. The throw his ass in the hole. Her plan was to take us there you go. I don't know. That's my last dish effort. I don't know what the fuck else to do. What would prove it? So far, suicide seems to be the best explanation. Her plan was to take us down with her. I don't know. There you go. And if I have to lie... I was wrong! I might just have to lie. <laughs> I might just have to straight up lie. This is my third fucking retry on this trial. This is the worst trial I've had this whole entire playthrough. Let it end here. And I feel very embarrassed about it. I promise I'm smart, guys. <laughs> I promise I can do it. So far, suicide seems to be the best explanation. Let's lie about her last moments. Her to take us down with her. So she hit her That's the only thing I can think about. Tango's not that kind of person. I'm just gonna lie. Lie through my fucking teeth. And then stabbed herself. Finally, with the last of her strength. I'm lying. There you go. <laughs> nah, man, it was instantaneous. What are you talking about? Stab, dead, done. Because she died instantly. She died instantly. Ain't that right, Maki? Instantly. See, the Monokuma file says she died to the stab in her neck, man. She, uh, she died. Maki, stop looking at me. Her death might have been instant, but she could have gone far before she bled out. Trust me, Maki. I'm certain of it. My investigation determined that she died instantly. Mm-hmm. Ain't that right, opinion, Maki? Maki? I'd like to hear from someone who specializes in murder. Maki. Maki. You're right. I completely forgot about that important detail. There you go. I saved your ass last time with a lie. Now you're saving my ass. Tenko died instantly. What? As an assassin, I specialize in killing my targets swiftly. I have no doubt that Tenko was killed immediately. <laughs> Words of a true killer. Pretty sure we can believe everything she said. I want to say this is the first time that the game decided not to hold my hand to tell me to lie, because all because the other two trials. So each would be like, do I have to lie? And then he'll look at the camera, and then lie would be in big fucking words. This time he's all like, how do I make him believe me? And I just lie through your teeth. Thanks, Maki. How could you forget that, Maki Roll? You better apologize to Shuichi. Excuse me? Don't push it. Don't push it. Don't push my luck. It's okay, Kaito, really. No apology necessary. Anyway... Tanko died so suddenly that she couldn't have gotten rid of the sickle. Knowing that, the theory that she killed herself just doesn't fit, correct? Just like I thought. Tanko wouldn't commit suicide. Thank goodness, Himiko. Which means someone definitely killed Tanko during the seance. I'm saying it's Kyo. Her suicide was considered because we could not determine how she was killed. No! There must have been a way! We're gonna figure it out! Did any of the participants witness anything peculiar during the seance? The only thing I can think about right now is if Kyo's the killer, why the 
fuck would he use his own katana? That was in his research lab. Maybe he's using Tenko's uh, death to like throw us off the trail a little bit. If you know something, please speak up. It could be the key to solving this mystery. Not a bad idea. We should remember what happened at the seance. Let me try to remember. I'm sure there's something. I need some kind of clue that will help me solve this mystery. Don't worry, I got this. Did anything seem out of the ordinary during the seance? There is something that bothers me. What is it, killer? That the seance failed. Uh huh. The ritual was perfect, and yet it failed. How utterly strange. Now that I think about it, while we were all singing the song, I heard something fall. I fucking missed. God damn it. I'm more concerned about how dark it got in there. I mean, it was totally pitch black. My job was to relight the candles. Moving along the walls is seriously tough. Oh, I'm sorry, Kokichi. Did you break a nail? Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Did anything seem out of the ordinary? The was perfect. While we were all singing the song, I heard something. I'm just gonna leave my shot a little bit. Oh, come on! Ugh. I'm more concerned about how dark it got. Damn it. Damn, Himiko got the most crap out of everyone. <laughs> Did anything seem out like even the reason they were killed was stupid? Oh. There is something that bothers me. The fact that the seance failed. The ritual was perfect, and yet it failed. How utterly strange. Now that I think about it, while we were all singing the song, I just gotta I time it. Fall. There we go. I agree. I agree with that. That is something I agree with. Himiko. You think that something fell because of that sound you heard, right? Kathunk. It sounded like something heavy fell down and hit the floor really hard. What could have fallen down? Fallen down? There wasn't anything on the ceiling that could have fallen down, right? Am I wrong? I thought something fell, but... Sound like something fell. Probably the floorboard. The sound was pretty loud. It did seem like something hit the floorboards. Maybe it was the sound of the dead body just slumping over? A loud sound like something hit the floorboards. Maybe the sound had something to do with the other thing that happened in the dark. What? What other thing are you talking about? What are you smoking right now? The other thing that happened in the dark? You talking about this shit? This is it. I think the floorboard coming off had something to do with that sound. That floorboard came loose at some point during the seance, right? Could the floorboard have made such a loud sound, though? I don't know, would it? Because you have the iron cage on top of it. It was the sound of an intense impact. Is that dog statue? I'm telling you, something, something with that dog statue. If the impact was that intense, then it could have loosened the floorboard. Hmm. That's true. Would have been a strong impact to make that sound. But what was it? It's a dog statue. All right then, let's go with that. We all gotta put our heads together now. If I were in Dangarapa, what would my ultimate be? Ultimate loser. <laughs> That's what it says on my Twitter. <laughs>
adult level ultimate loser. I don't know. What would my talent be? Something Someone like something like super loose. unconventional. Judging from the sound, there must have been considered. I'm surprised we haven't got a fucking wait, have we ever got an ultimate gambler yet? Maybe that person tore off the floorboard. That wouldn't make such a loud crashing sound. We did, we did get an ultimate gambler. It was Celeste, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm like I'm I'm not even paying attention to the fucking shit they're saying right now. Culprit hide under floor. Then stood up with such might. Cross piece on a floorboard. Dry blood on the floor. Circle Keo drew. Someone must have stomped through the floorboard. What the fuck? What the a hell is? Floorboard that comes loose when you step on it is dangerous. God, it's like I'm the only one here who's staying on the ball. Celeste, or should we say her true name, Hagakure? Don't be stupid. Don't you know me and balls are the best of friends? Hmm. We should have. <laughs> Should uh should have made the strong sound. Yasuhiro. Oh, Yasuhiro. That's her fucking name. My bad. I'm sorry. I was rem I was trying to remember something like that. It was because she shares a name with fucking Hagakure. Right. <laughs> It's just like, who the fuck would have such a loser-ass name as Yasuhiro? My name is Celeste Ludenberg. Can't you tell? <laughs> I mean, think about everyone's testimony. Alright, first of all, I didn't even listen to what the fuck they said. Someone I was too busy thinking about Celeste. Judging from the sound, there must have been considerable force. Someone who participated in the seance. Maybe that person tore off the floorboard. Tore off the floorboards. That wouldn't make such a loud crashing sound. Yeah, it wouldn't. Maybe the wooden statue fell over. But that statue was still on top of the cage. Culprit hide under floor. Then stood up with such might. But we already said there was no one under the floor. Someone must have stomped through the floorboard. A floorboard that comes loose when you step on it is dangerous. God, it's like I'm the only one here who's staying on the ball. You hardly have any experience with balls to say that, Mew. Wow, what? Don't How did I miss stupid. that the first time? <laughs> Don't you know me and balls are the best of friends? What the fuck? What the hell is wrong with you two? God. <laughs> also, a couple of Angie's aren't to be like, thanks, but Angie's a fucking freak. <laughs> I went to hang out with her and she's like, don't you want to give me your blood? And I'm like, what? No. Everyone gives Hagakure all the crap for being useless, but Kazuichi's even more useless. I don't know. I liked Kazuichi a lot. I mean, I like them both, right? But Kazuichi, at least he was, you know, at least he helped out with his mechanic shit, right? He was able to look at the electronics and stuff like that and help build some things here and there. Right? The only time Hagakure was ever, like, useful, useful was during, um, episode Hagakure. Because he has to be useful, because he's the fucking main character of his own goddamn little novel thing. See? It's a drinking game whenever Mew swears or says anything. You, all these drinking games combined, you would die. You judge for choosing Sonya at your waifu? Why? She's basically... She's basically Starfire. <laughs> She's Starfire mixed with, like, Teddy from Persona 4. You know? Alright, so... I think I might agree with Kokichi... ...on this. Chose Hina as a waifu, but everyone else chose Kyoko. Not gonna lie, before Kyoko even said anything to me, I kinda looked at Kyoko and I said, Hi there. And she's like, don't talk to me. I'm like, oh, okay. Judging from the sound, there must have been considerable force. And then when later when I found out that she was the main girl, I was like, ah. I was like, I chose the fucking main girl. Why am I so basic? That wouldn't make such a loud crashing sound. He knows great too. Maybe the wooden statue fell over. But that statue was still on top of the cage. Then stood up with such might. He said there was no one under the floor. Someone must have stomped through the floor. What? How'd I miss that? Come on. Damn it. 
Oh, fuck yeah! Logic works! So, what I was thinking is that, let's say... Kokichi is right. The floorboard came loose because someone stomped on it. Let's say... I, I still think that fucking dog statue is suspect as shit. So, they said that... Ha, they, what the how did they describe it? That the sickle itself isn't long enough to reach Tenko. What if the sickle was somehow taped on the blanket and there's some sort of mechanism in the dog statue that like puts pressure on it? It just slams it down. It just gets her enough, right? What if that was it? And within that force, it created enough of a shock to like push the metal cage down a little bit and jostle the floorboard. Alright. Let's see. In the first game, Hina, only fictional character sent for is Mikoto. Sanji from it. I'm super dinger romper too. Sanji, Sanji. Sananji? You talking about... No, 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 wait, Sananji. SDR. Why does that sound familiar? Who the hell is it? Wait, what, what is that game? It's the RA2. Oh, it's a... F okay, then I don't know who it is, then. You know what? I'm remembering Sananji because I'm thinking of... What's her name? Uh, Hyoko. Isn't that her last name? Her first name? I don't know. Japan is weird. Love Suiji X Kaede and Kaito X Maki. I like... <laughs> right now, in my opinion, because, in my opinion, I usually try not to ship characters. Because at the end of the day, they're all my waifus and husbandos. But, <laughs> I would ship uh, Suiji and Maki. I know Kaido is definitely hanging out with Maki, but just I want the fucking murderer in the detective to be a buddy cop duo. He was it. Suichi with Kaito. Wait, what? Suichi with Kaito and Suichi with Kokichi and Kaede with Mew. What the fuck? <laughs> That's some pickings. Okay. The floorboards fit perfect. Going to make sure first time we go to empty room. When we first saw the room, yes. But when I looked again during the investigation... One of the cross pieces supporting the floorboards was cut off. After examining the cut, I concluded that it must have been done deliberately. Someone? You mean the culprit, right? Why'd they do that? What did the culprit stand to gain by cutting the cross piece? Easy access or some shit? I don't know. What did they stand to gain from this question? So in that case, I need to think carefully about the cross piece on the floor and the floorboard. Ah, oh, shit. So it's not... Wait. So it's not a mechanism slamming the fucking... The dog statue. It's someone hitting the floorboard and pushing her body upwards? Crossbeat that had been cut was on the other end of the floorboard. The unsupported part was outside the cage and so it could have been stomped on. Only one of the cross pieces was cut, the other two were intact. Case is way too hard for Chapter 3. This case. I want to say the hardest case, but besides this one, I wouldn't say this one's hard. I just the logic to me is just I tend to overthink it. Like I'll fully agree that fucking Phoenix Wright is difficult at some points, but I will say the one thing that was super difficult to me and like Danganronpa too was uh, the fourth chapter, I think. The fucking, the one where you have to use, like, the teddy bear as evidence. I'm like, what the fuck? That's so obscure. The way they worded it and shit. That was weird. Okay. And the other was in the center, right about where the edge of the cage was. What was the culprit attempting to achieve by stomping on the floorboard? Come to think of it. Hangman's Gambit. 
Alright. Let's look for the first word, because... Let's see. Uh, let's start with an S. Okay, there's an S in there. Cool. A? Nope. Alright, there's not an A in there. E. Okay. What are we doing here? Another E? The fuck? I'm confused. Yeah, I didn't think an F would be there. Is this an S? Okay, seesaw. Is the word... Is the word seesaw effect? <laughs> Is that what I'm looking at here? The word is seesaw effect, right? Where's the F set? Come on, light. Shine brightly. Give me a C. I don't see a C. Give me a C. There we go. Not the chapter four. That was so bad. Yeah. So here's the thing. That's right. I say this like I feel like I say this every day around for stream because we have new people coming in. But um, on my YouTube, which is on the screen, I do have my first playthrough of Danganronpa 2 up there. That was recorded a long, long, long time ago. So... Me, personally, I don't recommend watching the playthrough. I'm not proud of it, but I'm still keeping it up there because it was my first playthrough of that game. But, during that trial, the first thing I went was... First thing I went, I was like, is that the killer? Was it because of this? And I pretty I got it just... I just got it, like, right then and there. But just, like, going all the roundabout ways of fucking solving it. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, a seesaw? The cross piece at one end of the floorboard had been cut off. The other two cross pieces holding up that board were close to the cage. Meaning, if you were to apply force to the end of the floorboard with no cross piece, the next cross piece would act as a fulcrum to turn the floorboard into a lever. A lever capable of lifting up Tenko's entire body. Her whole body lifted up? Yeah, that sounds like a seesaw, all right. No fucking, no fucking away. I need a report card real quick. I need to just, I'm sorry. I just gotta, just for my own curiosity. Just for my own carry out. Where the fuck are you, Tinko? There you are. Okay. Hmm. Where the hell is my two suspects here? Maybe. But hmm. why bother lifting Tenko's body? They couldn't have killed Tenko like that. Unless they use the sickle. That's exactly it. Using the seesaw trick, it was possible to kill Tenko with a sickle. Huh? How? In order for the culprit to kill Tenko with a seesaw trick, the placement of the sickle is the most important factor. Which it's on the fucking... It's on the blanket. <laughs> Floorboard seesaw, the, ca uh, the cage, and the blood on the white fabric. What conclusion can I draw from this? There's only one place the sickle could have been. Underneath, between the victim and the floorboard, on top of the cage. That's it! Been saying it this whole fucking trial. The sickle was at the top of the iron cage, with the blade facing down. That's what I've been saying! The reason we didn't see it was because of the fabric covering the cage. 
Also, the wooden statue kept the blade in place. Okay. I'm just still trying to think, though. Okay, so yeah, there's the blanket, there's the cage, and then, okay. And the one who placed it there was fucking Kyo. It's true that the sickle's handle was thick, which made the statue wobble. But the statue's weight kept it from falling over. Yes. Once everything was in place, if you stepped hard enough on the seesaw, Tenko's body would have shot upward and hit the blade on the top of the cage. I want to take a moment to just go back to the beginning of this trial when I said two culprits here. I said, what the hell? How's my dog doing? Hey, what are you doing over there? What the hell? Better not be doing anything bad. You'll be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> but um, I want to go back to the beginning of this of this case. When I went, I had my two suspects, Himiko and Kyo. And I said, it has to be some motherfucker who's good at sleight of hand. And those are the only two people I can think of. She was bent over meaning the sickle's blade would have connected with her neck. The six-inch sickle blade wasn't long enough to stab Tenko in a crouched position, but with the floorboard acting as a seesaw, it could compensate for the blade's length. Bringing the victim to the sickle, rather than bringing the sickle to the victim, that's definitely an unorthodox idea. It's crazy, but it would explain how Tenko got stabbed while she was in the cage. So the sound we heard was the culprit stomping on the floorboard. That impact make floorboard come loose. Looks like we got ourselves a good old-fashioned seesaw homicide. Wait, what the hell's a seesaw homicide? That's fucking crazy! The craziness is what really makes the killing game fun, you know? They can't get away with murder the normal way, so they gotta think outside the box. Kudos, culprit! You did a great job keeping me entertained. Indeed. Well played, Himiko. God, it's so you, Kyo, you fucking sick bastard. Yeah? <laughs> it was you, wasn't what? it? The one behind the seesaw homicide. I swear I didn't even press a button. What the fuck just happened? Oh, the camera angle just changed. I was like, what the hell? Huh? Why her? Because she's the only one capable of carrying out this plan. The only one? Why is that? Because this seesaw homicide required its location to be prepared beforehand. By cutting the cross piece beneath the floorboard, you mean? But you're the one who knows how to set up the ritual, you piece of shit. You the liar? The culprit would need to lure their victim into the prepared room. That is why you chose that room for the seance. Is it not, Himiko? She didn't even know about the seance beforehand. However, there are three empty rooms. What, you keep... By the way, he keeps going back to this shit. Keeps bringing up the same flashback. Kyo, you're suspicious. Oh, yeah! Himiko was the one who chose the site for the seance! She likely found out about my plans for the seance somehow. Oh, you mean your plans for murder? You were quite vocal about the seance, Kyo. You even had instructions for it in your lab. Thank you, Kibo. Our culprit, Himiko, prepared her seesaw trap ahead of time. Then she waited for me to host the seance and suggested the middle room. She led us all into holding the seance right where she wanted it. Then she killed Tenko. All according to plan. Kyo, you're so fucking suspicious. <laughs> what the hell? That's a lie, right? Himiko did such a thing? I don't think Himiko is completely innocent, but... In the end, Himiko, who Tenko cherished and loved, tragically killed her. Wait! We don't know that, right? He's wrong, right, Himiko? Himiko would never kill Tenko, right? Well, 
Tinko? I killed Tinko? Himiko? What's wrong, Himiko? It's true using the middle room was Himiko's idea. Listen, I don't think Himiko is fully innocent. But I don't think she killed Tenko. But does that mean that Himiko really killed Tenko? Would something like that really happen? Something so cruel. Time for an intermission? Time for an intermission. Okay. I like to point out that it is currently uh where I am at right now. It is currently 5.17 in the morning, and for some fucking wondrous reason, there are people in my house who are still awake, and they're like going through a bunch of dishes in the kitchen right now, making a shit ton of noise. Go to sleep, motherfuckers. God damn. <laughs> Looks like we reached the intermission segment. Which means it's time for our guest, the victim quiz. A victim quiz? Not a culprit kit quiz. How the fuck does that work? What? The only victims are the people who are still watching this drawn out boring crap. Oh wow. I feel bad about that. Why are we being such downers all of a sudden? It's okay. It's okay. I'm sure everyone's happy. How do you know? They could be skipping the entire conversation for all you know. Oh, trust me. I want to skip the Monokuma shit. I can't take it. Can't take it anymore. I'm the real victim here, me! Why are you getting upset? If anything, I'm the real victim. I gotta put up with all these all this nonsense all the time. Absolutely. That's the right answer. Motto damn. <laughs> Why? He hasn't said anything. Hey, exactly. Because there is no victims. Yep, even if you're killed in the killing game, you're a winner. Because then everyone mourns you and you get tons of pop pop what? Post post humorous popularity. Daddy. I'm not saying that. Alright! Die makes you more popular, then we got <laughs> then we gotta die soon. What? Resume the class trial. I shall resume. of a spooky, scary ghost. Ah! I'm fine with real ghosts, but impressions of them are too scary. Logic does not compute. Exactly, Monodam. Uh, did you hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. He's gonna kill the both of you. Stop playing around, guys. You know what else is scary? Sweet buns. Yep. Tasty, tasty sweet buns. So round, so sweet, so delicious. That doesn't sound scary at all. I'm scared too. Scared of losing my friends. Huh? Did you hear something? Oh God. No, I didn't hear anything. He's gonna kill the both of you. <laughs> didn't you guys learn your lessons before? Answer us, Himiko. You chose the middle room to lure us into your trap, did you not? Then you used that trap to kill Tenko, yes? Well, Donkey Lips, did you kill that twat? Aww, I'll make fun of her Donkey Lips. I love her Donkey Lips. Wait, must be some mistake. No way Himiko is culprit. Then she needs to defend herself. Otherwise, this debate is deadlocked. I don't care if you gotta use magic to do it, but say something already! Are you even listening? No, I'm not listening. What? I... I don't care anymore. I'm too tired. Himiko would be too light to do something. Yeah, that's why I was looking at the class report. But then you also, you also, like, she's light, but you also gotta factor in some sort of, like, you know, force and velocity, because I'm assuming they would jump up before, you know, tapping the seesaw. But still, she's too light to do it. I believe that. 
but she's also strong enough to just throw the fucking iron cage off <laughs> like the Hulk. Angie died. Tanko died. Why did I have to survive? Surprise find out Kaede is your birthday twin? Oh shit. I have no birthday twins. My birthday is very unorthodox. And now, they're all saying I killed them? I just don't care anymore. Kimiko. Do whatever. If you want to vote for me, then just go ahead. Kimiko, I don't want to vote for you. But at the same time, I don't think you're innocent. Also, at the same time, if I vote for you, we all are probably gonna die. The game gets really blah if the suspect isn't into it. That's not the problem. Damn it. Don't tell me you've given up. Kimiko, don't give up. Don't you understand? My life is riding on the outcome of this trial. <laughs> the game became Bully Himiko Simulator. Just shut up. I told you. I'm too tired. You know, at least it isn't as bad as fucking, uh... Fucking... <laughs> Mikan in the second game, she would get bullied and no one would defend her. It's like, come on, guys. It's all just a big pain. I can't put up with it anymore. What are you talking about? If you give up here, you needn't worry. Kimiko was the one who chose that room. Therefore, she is unmistakably the culprit. Man, Kyo, you're really pushing for this. Uh, impossible! Himiko would never kill Tanko! Himiko, not that kind of person! Gota can tell by Himiko's face! Himiko's a little slow. So wow, Maki. capable of handling a complicated crime. I also think Himiko's not the culprit. Um, somehow. Either way, we gotta look for more possibilities. <laughs> that does seem like rather a pointless quest. No, it's not. We gotta be strong. Gotta keep thinking. Then we might find new truth. I'm surprised no one has, since everyone's like digging into Himiko, that's like, she's the one that chose the room. No one's bringing up the fact that, well, besides Kibo, he brought up one fact that uh, Kyo was, was uh, adamant about doing the seance. But not only that, also the fact that he knew the seance by heart, <laughs> right off the bat. And also the fact that he's just so, so adamant about being the one to, to, uh, put and remove the fucking white blanket. Because I forgot who is, who said they would do it. Was it Kokichi or Suichi? It was one of them. They said, I'll put the blanket over. He said, no, 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 I got it. And then when the lights came back on, he said, no, 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 I got it. Make sure you can't see that sickle there. So no give up, Himiko. Himiko, I know how you feel. I felt the same way about Kai when Kaede died. But we can't give up now. We survived. We can't give up. For the sake of everyone who died. Performing the seance in that room was Himiko's decision, was it not? What if someone steered her into kicking that room? Of the three empty rooms, why did you select the middle one, Kimiko? Because you laid your trap there. Was trap only in that room? Other rooms may be trapped too. That's true, Gonta. Yeah, they may be. Kimiko picked the room. Someone else could have set that trap. Your opinions are empty words. Aww, sad Himiko. See, if the culprit would plan to make Himiko a suspect, they might persuade her to choose the room somehow. But how? Performing the seance in that room was Himiko's decision, was it not? What if someone steered her into picking that room? Of the three empty rooms, why did you select the middle one? Because you laid your trap. Are there windows in the other rooms? Was trap only in that room? Other rooms may be trapped too. Yeah, even if Himiko picked the room. Do I have any evidence that tells me about just about the room itself?
Hmm. Oops. Did not mean to do that. My bad. Your opinion. What if someone steals? Oh, come on! You bastard. Of the three empty rooms. Why did you just make the little rooms? Because your major trapped there. Was trapped only in that room? Other rooms maybe trapped too. Yeah, even if you go pick the room. I'm mad that I missed that. That was the high five psych. Oh, really? See, yeah, but who, when picking the rooms, Kyo said he didn't care which one. I was wrong. See, I wasn't sure if the other rooms had windows in them or not. They probably didn't. But my logic of thinking was that Kyo was like, eh, the room's gotta be dark. And she said, eh, that room has no windows. Performing the seance okay. in that room was Himiko's decision, was it not? On the corner. What if someone steered her into picking that room? See. Oh, could you investigate a neighboring room? The seance held. He stepped through one of the floorboards. And, oh, yeah. Of the three empty rooms. Going to help me out here. Because you laid your trap there. Was trap only in that room? Other rooms may be trapped. Oh. Ah, shit. The world hates me. I agree. I agree with that. I agree with the ape man. It's just like going to said. Each room was the same. They were all trapped. What? Is that true? Kokichi will tell you. Oh, what a dickhead. I was way too careless. Uh, wait, what are you talking about? I guess there's... I guess there was... Ah, oh, fuck, I can't even read. I guess there was no crossbeat supporting this floorboard, so I kind of stepped through. Heh, <laughs> what bad luck. While you were in the room next to the crime scene, you found a loose floorboard, right? Well, I didn't find it so much as I stepped through it and tripped. What? Hold on! There was also a loose floorboard in the next room? So the culprit prepared a trap in all three empty rooms, not just the middle one. If the culprit set traps in all the rooms, then they wouldn't need to select a room themselves. So the real trap was for someone else to pick a room and take the blame. Never, never understand why Kaito wears his jacket like that. Because he's a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! and Seto Kaiba wore his jacket like that. Am I wrong? Did he wear his jacket like that? With, like, his jacket on his shoulders? I don't know. It's like a gangster thing in Japan. I see. <laughs> in anime. In the Japan anime. All along. Oh, caught in your own trap. Especially you! But now there's no reason to suspect Himiko. And all the reason right? to suspect Kyo. Wait, he wears his jacket with one sleeve in. Are you serious? Himiko. Did I never notice you that? Remember what Tanko told you? I mean, what which one do you think is stupider? Is it uh <laughs> Live life. Is it fucking forward. Is she it Kaito right with his one arm through his sleeve? Or is it fucking Titus from Final Fantasy X with his fucking one pant leg all the way up? His fucking kneecaps? If you give up on living, you'd be betraying her memory. Kaito's hair is just looks like a crescent moon. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> We're all trying to keep our promises to the dead. What? We're all trying to keep our promises to the dead. The two that died over there couldn't keep their promises to anyone. They both died. No one promised Rantaro anything. He's dead. This trial, it's not just for our lives. It's for everyone who's died as well. That's why we can't give up. This is our responsibility. We live on. <laughs> he has wings and halos instead of a cross, exactly. 
Yeah, I noticed that. It's because she's in heaven with Atua, or whatever the fuck. Atua land. That's right. So let's do our best. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to say it's a pain anymore. Oh, she's so going to be the next one to die. I won't give up. I'll fight alongside everyone and survive. Do not say everyone. After all, the blackened is still among us. Hey, there you go. Killing the mood like usual. He does where How did I never notice that? What? But damn, well said, Shuichi. That's what I'd expect from my soul, bro. <laughs> my soul, bro. Your soul, bro? Well, anyway, do you think the blackened this time has some sort of super? <laughs> Delta looks so isolated with both seats. <laughs> both seats just empty next to him. That's so sad. What are you talking about? Well, as a self proclaimed expert of stepping through floorboards. Isn't it weird that no one stepped through that floorboard before the culprit used it? Ah, that is a good point. Ah, uh, Kyo, that is a great point. Yet another one. The guy who's all like, don't step anywhere. Don't do it. It must have been barrier magic. Well, that's one possibility. But I think it might have been something else. Not a fan of Suishi or Kikishi or Kaede and Mew. I'm not a fan of either of those. Why did no one step on the floorboard until it was used for murder? Ah, that's it. That must be the reason. The Moida. This is it. It's because of the magic circle at the scene of the crime. Also, it's dark in here, so be sure to watch your step. If the magic circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, but it may also unleash a curse. Before we began the seance, we were warned not to step on the circle. I would never play any of those drinking games ever. You would die. You would just be dead. This game would be unplayable. You would get nowhere. The floorboard in question was within the circle. That's why no one stepped on it. So the magic circle's purpose was to keep us away from the whole trick. That was part of the culprit's plans too? That's right. If that's the case, then the culprit. There's no doubt in my mind, the one who killed Tinko. Only one person had the opportunity for the motive. I've been saying it for the longest time. It's nice to know. That I was right. It has to be you. You think I'm gonna trust the guy who's a fucking JoJo villain over there? Hmm. Whatever are you talking about? I don't play dumb, you piece of shit. I'm talking about Tenko's murder. Also, you can't sit there and start touching your face and shit. Going like, mm, what are you talking about? I love myself. Kyo? Why do you suspect me? Take a look in a fucking mirror. Of course I suspect you. I always suspect you. Because you were the one who drew the magic circle. And you're the one who placed the tarp. The circle kept us from discovering the seesaw okay. trick. Went in last... <laughs> Wait, what? Went in last chapter one or two. Oh yeah, with the drinking game? Hell no. Which they gave for Antaro. Real make for me more story. Eh. I guess that's what playing their, um... I think Kurumi had okay enough story. Ryoma didn't have much. I will say that. And Rantaro, I'm assuming Rantaro's gonna get his whole uh, moment to shine towards the end of the game. But that's not all it was for. In order to make the murder succeed, variables like Tenko's yes, he will. Yeah, he definitely will. Needed to be defined. Yeah, Kurumi votes for you and she's going, Yeah, I know, I called that shit out. I said, wait a minute, who fucking voted for me? And those variables were defined by using the magic circle. In short, the circle itself was the most important tool in this murder. Knowing that, 
the person who drew the magic circle has to be the culprit. Well, Kyo? Answer already! Did you do it? <laughs> you know what? I'm fully expecting it right now. He's like, yeah, I killed Tenko, but I didn't kill Angie. <laughs> what is so funny? I was just thinking. So this is how each blackened must have felt. What an intriguing experience this is. What? An intriguing experience? Must be the work of a fucking enemy stand. But if I am the culprit as you claim, then I stomped on the floorboard, yes? Yes. So, do tell. Do tell. How could I have stomped on the floorboard during that darkened seance? Uh, look at your eyes. You're the shadow of the true self. I see. That is problem. <laughs> Unless that is made clear, you cannot be certain I am the culprit. I don't know. Maybe your fucking hands under those bandages are like... How can you be so calm when you're backed into a corner like this? <laughs> this is when you dislike Kyo. <laughs> I will explain that in due time. Kyo, I can imagine from from first. from second one, I can imagine why Kyo is dislikable. But I will say, I do like a character who is intelligent, and conversations with him seem to be fun for me, anyways. The culprit stepped on the exact floorboard, even in the darkness. But how? How did they move around in total darkness? In a room that dark, it's hard to imagine the culprit found the right board. Although, even after I put out the candle, I could move along the walls with my hand. Wait a minute. Maybe... Did you figure it out? That's it. The culprit didn't ha even have to see at all. They used... The smell, the touch, made it with salt, hearing, smell, their sixth sense. I don't fucking know. That's it. Because of the salt? The culprit used touch. They didn't see, they felt. That way they could get around in the dark, like how I got to the candle. Wasn't Seesaw in middle of room? Gonta doesn't think it was near wall. So they probably used something besides the wall to move then, right? Hmm? Were there any other markers within reach? The salt? Of course the answer to that is, there was nothing of the sort. No, I'm sure there was something. A landmark they could have used to determine where the floorboard was. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, I was just thinking real quick. I was like, is the pathway that he made to her part of that area? But, you know. Let's see. Let's just start with a word. With a word? With a letter. Okay, well. Let's see. What do we have? Is the word just magic circle? Oh shit, I thought that was a G. Where's the G at? Okay. Oh, wait, what? Okay, I didn't grab a G last time. I was like, what the fuck? What happened? Right, I gotta wait for my fucking... Energy to come back. I thought that was a C. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm like, what? <laughs> Forgot. There's an R in the word circle. We can't let Oops. My bad. Alright.
I thought that was an L. Where's an L? There we go. Magic circle. I can see clearly now. For the rain is gone. That's it. The magic circle. They used the magic circle. Remember? The magic circle was drawn with salt. The culprit used the salt's texture to feel their way through the dark. I see. So Keo traced the magic circle with his hands to get to the loose floorboard. Oh, I see. You drew the magic circle with salt to use it as a guide. <laughs> An interesting thought. It is unfortunate that it is so wrong. What? Recall the document. What did the magic circle look like? Based on the document, the magic circle wouldn't reach the corners of the room. So what? When the room was darkened, each of us was in a corner of the room, yes? The magic circle didn't reach us, so I could not have followed it, yes? But you're talking about the magic circle in the document. That doesn't mean the circle you drew was the same. No, I most definitely drew it exactly the same. I have it perfectly memorized. Um, so which is it? Is there any way to check? Just give him a fucking pen and paper right now. He'll draw it up for you. Not anymore. The magic circle is a complete mess from being trampled on. I see. Another piece of the puzzle. Drawing the magic circle with saw, all guaranteed it would be temporary. The investigation itself could have... Uh, well, the investigation itself could have got written up evidence. Clever. Everyone, may I have your attention, please? Yes, you may. Hmm, what a pain. We don't have any way to check it now. Excuse me, everyone. May I have your attention, please? I have a recording function. Well, I guess there's no point in discussing the magic circle anymore. Hey, may I have your attention? Oh, I said cut that out. It's too bright. I apologize. I just wanted everyone to listen to me. About what? I had Mew add another function to my body, in addition to the flashlight. What the? No way! Did you really... Stop! You can't! I didn't install it for that per... What'd you install it for, you freak? Let me use it. With it, I might be able to save everyone. Alright, so... What is this function? It's an image recording function. Image, image recording? recording. Specifically, this function allows me to dispense a printout of my own memory. I'll give it a try. Mew, what the fuck? Ready? From your mouth? I also used magic like that before. This printout is my memory of being kicked out of the seance. Please confirm that the floor of the empty room is clearly visible. Go on, take the picture and see for yourself. Uh, okay, got it. I'm be really sad if Keo dies now. He's just too cool. Now he's cool to me. Now he's very cool. I reluctantly took the paper from Keo's mouth. So this is the magic circle used for the seance. Well, Shuichi, do you notice anything? Notice anything? You want me to pick? Ah, oh, shit. Is it the pathway? It's the opposite way from, I believe, where he was standing. This area's center is empty. No, not in the center, you fucking I was wrong. moron. I'm saying the pathway. Oh, okay, well, I guess that doesn't count then. All right. Uh, oh, I can't pull up the fucking pictures. You piece of shit. What's this J thing here? I don't know. Is this a letter? Oh no! You think I fucking know? You think I know? You piece of shit. The lines? That leads to the yeah. corner? Yeah, that makes sense. This helped a lot, Kibo. Without you. I never would have seen through Keo's lie. I saw it through fucking step one. My lie. My lie. You just said that you drew the magic circle exactly as it appears in the document. 
But that's a lie, isn't it? The magic circle at the scene had lines that stretched to the room's corners, which means that you would be able to find the floorboard from anywhere in the room. So it was different from the document after all. All because Himiko noticed. And because of Kibo, too. Hey, where's my things? I'm the one who installed that function into Kibo. You did it for pervy reasons. You don't get it. Hey, yeah. What was it you were saying about its purpose? Oh, to be honest, the purpose of that image recording function is to monitor my health. Specifically, I make Kibo use that function every day to... <sighs> analyze my turds. I didn't need to know that. Your what? Why? Shit is a great indicator of intestinal health and gut bacteria quality. It is true, but I didn't need to know that. Plus, taking a satisfying shit does wonders for a woman's natural beauty, so... See? You're all grossed out! This is why I didn't want to tell you about my plan! Quit talking about your poop. No one cares. Kyo. You killed Tanko, didn't you? Just give up and admit it already. So, Kyo, if you have any objections, you can- Your deductions are fiction. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, since you've given me the option, I will most certainly object. To be honest, it's unimportant, but it may be an amusing diversion. Unimportant? Now I shall bear witness to your ability, Shuichi. Do entertain me. <laughs> Do entertain me, Shuichi. Come play with me. <laughs> Come and be my friend forever. If you are going to claim I am the culprit, uh, oh. then what of the murder weapon? Uh. It was set up in the cage. The only people capable of that are Kokichi and Shuichi who carried the cage. No, it's you, you piece of shit. Lion, out here. You don't want to fight me on a fucking duel. Get out of here. True, we could have placed the sickle there, but we could not have removed it later. Because we weren't the ones who lifted the cage. That was Himiko. The only person who could have collected the sickle was Himiko. But the only people who could have placed the sickle are Kokichi and Sh But in regards to that dilemma, I did not carry the cage, nor did I lift it. I had no opportunity to touch the sickle. Bullshit. I'll cut through your words. I've been saying it since the beginning of this fucking case. The only person who could have set up the sickle and retrieved it afterward is Kyo. That was done by covering the cage with a white cloth. You could have secretly placed the sickle when you draped the cloth. And retrieved it afterward when you removed the cloth. Then, while everyone was distracted, you discreetly dropped the sickle under the floor. Wonderful! That's exactly correct. But you didn't kill Angie, did you? What? It's correct? Then why don't you give up already? <laughs> the trick I put so much work into is just wasted effort now. Alas. So, it was you? You killed Tanko? Let me guess. You'll never forgive me. Himiko, you must hate me so very much. God, what an asshole. <laughs> Maybe you'd feel better if I was executed by Monokuma. But unfortunately for you, that won't happen. Because if you vote for me, every spotless, including myself, will die. What you talking about, Kyo? <laughs> <laughs> you still don't understand? You got a giggle out of me with that one. I killed Tenko. That is the truth. But it is meaningless in this class trial. Meaningless? You mean Monokuma's extra rule, right? Oh, that's right. What happens to your votes if there's two blacking candidates? 
Well, I have an answer for that. First come, first served. You see, I killed Tenko, but not Angie. You see, I killed the sheriff, but I did not shoot the deputy. For us, Tenko's death is nothing but a trivial issue. Because the blackened in this trial is the culprit who killed Angie. A uh, trivial issue? Himiko, did you kill Angie? No, that's gotta be a lie. You probably killed Angie too. That is simply not possible. Recall that I was unable to enter Angie's lab. Oh, only student council members and Kokichi could enter research lab. How could I have possibly killed Angie when I couldn't even enter her lab? We can figure that out. No one else could have done it besides you. Was I? Did I get this right just by looking at both characters and going, these are my two suspects? If you're the one who killed Tenko, you gotta be the one who killed Angie. I understand how you feel, Himiko, but maybe we can discuss this rationally and calmly. There is a non-zero possibility that Kyo is telling the truth. So you understand how she feels. I see. Wait, robots can understand human feelings? Of course I understand. I work really hard to understand. Hey, why are you getting all worked up, Kibo? Chill, dude. That's enough! It's voting time! I'm gonna vote for him! Stop, Himiko. <laughs> voting for me will only help the one who murdered Angie. Isn't Kyo culprit? They're both the fucking of culprit. Not. This case was an error on my part. Monokuma added that rule after both bodies were found, yes? How was I to know that the trial would only be for Angie's killer? Had I known, I certainly wouldn't have killed Tenko. You're lying! You killed Tenko and Angie! Now hold on. Jumping to conclusions here is dangerous. Mm-hmm. We should talk it out more. This case might have juicy plot twists waiting to happen. Oh, Kokichi, who the fuck are you fooling? You knew since second one. Nuts to that. Any way you look at this case, Kyo is obviously the culprit. Yeah, there's sort of no other way to look at it. <laughs> when you get paid, you'll give me a sub. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. No, it's too dangerous to vote. But if you don't got the money for it, you don't have decision. to do it. What the fuck, Monokuma? This argument is getting intense. At times like this. The Ultimate Academy Do I have a least favorite character at all? Do you mean in this game or in general? Yippee! I've been waiting for this! Why were you waiting for it? I was kinda waiting for it too, it's kinda cool. Kyo confessed to killing Tenko, but insists he did not kill Angie. We won't forgive Keo for what he did, but we can't vote until we know the facts. In this game and in general. Well, in general, it probably has to be Hifumi. He's just he's just useless. He doesn't really do anything. And I feel I feel bad for saying that because it feels like I'm going like, oh eh, the fat character's the one I don't like. It's like, no. It's fucking he literally does like maybe two things in the first game, and after that he's just kinda useless. Right? So overall, least favorite is probably him. In this game, though? Shit. I'm gonna have to think on that one. Maybe Angie? <laughs> Love scrum debate team. I like the scrum debate in general. I find it weird that Gonta's the one who's the lowest, even though he's the tallest. Least favorite is Angie and Kyo. Wait, Maki and Kaido are against me? Why? Kyo killed Tenko and Angie. Kibo, we don't know for certain that Kyo killed Angie. He forced his way into Angie's research lab and killed Kyo. Anyone could have entered my lab. Wait, what? The katana was found in Kyo's lab. Kyo. Anyone could have entered. Why did they say lab? lab? So Kyo did kill Tanko, but he not blackened? Kokichi, 
Perhaps there's a second Blackened we need to find. He was planning to use the new rule to protect himself all along. Kyo! Not possible. Oh, the that other one says Angie. I feel bad now that I fucked up. We solved the mystery of Taiko's death. Can't we just vote now? I've got this. Not yet. It it's sucks that I have to do it all over, right? Instead of it just like continuing. His way into Angie's research lab and... They should make it continuous Kyo until you get it. And Angie. Kibo, we don't know for certain that Kyo killed Angie. Forced his way into I've got this, but he couldn't get into Angie's research lab. The katana was found in Kyo Kyo. Anyone could have entered my lab. So Kyo did kill Tanko, but he didn't kill Kiji. Perhaps there's a second blackened we need to find. <laughs> Why is Suichi's friends against them? I know, right? Rule to protect Kyo. Not possible. I'm just like, that what the fuck, guys? You're supposed to be on my side. We solved the mystery of I've got this. Not yet. There's still another mystery to solve. What button? Oh, there it is. Oh shit. This is our answer. I love how we're so outnumbered too. <laughs> we have we have uneven teams. It would be a mistake to vote before we've completely solved Angie's murder. And there's still the mystery of Tango's murder. Uh, I'd be like, some friends you are, right? Mystery? What kind of mystery? Well, Keo's confession derailed our conversation a bit. But we still have to go over one of the clues found at Tanko's crime scene. I believe it might even have something to do with Angie's murder. You want to know the moment where I'm like, Keo's not the murderer of both of them? It's like, I can understand him being a complete asshole with the seance. But... Why the fuck in the right mind would you ever take the sword from your own research lab? Yes, the outline piece of evidence at Tenko's murder scene. At Tenko's murder scene? Wait, what? The outlining piece of evidence? Wait, wait, what am I looking for? Um, it's the, uh, dried blood. Wait, what? Was there something strange about that? Yes, the dried blood. I saw something on the floorboards that bothered me when we investigated the dry blood. Okay. What's the question again? What clue found in the crime scene that hasn't been explained yet? Is dry blood like its own thing? Oh, there it is. My bad. Okay, sorry. This is it. I looked at the floorboard thing, and in the description it says there's dry blood on it. Under the floor. Maki and I found it during the investigation. See. Every class trial, you saw, <laughs> your side seems to get smaller. Yeah, it does. Even even Suichi's best friends was against them. I'd be like, damn. I'd be like, Kaido, seriously? You weren't even part of the investigation, man. Come on. Maki, I can understand. It was the floorboard that the culprit stomped on. Is that Tenko's blood? It's Angie's blood, dude. That blood stain was too far from Tenko's corpse to have been hers. Also, the blood stain was already dry when we found it, but the blood from Tanko's body hadn't even begun to dry yet. Well, that's weird. Why was that blood stain the only dry one? The blood stain under the floorboards were dry because it happened before the seance. Watch out! That's it. The blood stain wasn't from Tanko's murder. It was there before we started the seance. Before the seance? It could make it clear whose blood it was. Blood stain belongs to Angie. That's it. That blood stain wasn't Tanko's. It was Angie's. What? At the scene of Tinko's murder. Cause you killed her. Yeah, wasn't Angie killed in her research lab? Just because we found her body there doesn't mean she was killed there. Ah, I guess that's possible. If Angie wasn't killed in her lab, then that opens up a lot more possibilities. We assumed that only council members could have killed Angie since her body was in her lab. But if she died somewhere else, then we can't suspect just the council members anymore. 
So the culprit didn't enter her lab, but waited for her to come out of it? I'm not sure if the culprit waited for her, but they probably killed her when she came out. Well, I thought that was more likely from the start. I mean, it was pretty evidence with the piece of tape we found. I was like, she was bound and gagged somewhere. So I went to places Angie might have gone and checked all three empty rooms. Places she might have gone? Why did you check the empty rooms then? Because that's where she would do the ritual. Hmm? The empty rooms were the only places I could think of that Angie would go. Did Angie have business in rooms? <laughs> it seems Kokichi's up to his usual misleading nonsense again. Nah, he's telling the truth this time. <laughs> I do lie a lot, and I could be lying right now too. But I'm pretty sure someone's panicking right now because of my lie. Hey, Miko. Angie left her lab on her own and headed to the room where she was killed. Is Kokichi's statement true, or...? I believe him. FG Upside Down, Golden Leaf, Necronomicon. The art research lab. Can I take a look at the Necronomicon, please? Per FG's Dead Souls wish. Uh, da -da -da, if not obvious, deceased, at the parent, FG, burn, like carbon monoxide, sprinkle the ashes, FG, repeat, the name of the deceased, when you close your eyes, wait after a while, you should feel light tap on the back cess, ritual, form once they're used wisely. I mean, the rooms had candles in them. Is not where Angie was killed. She was killed in the empty room instead. She left her lab on her own? But why would she go into an empty room? There shouldn't have been anything in there. The candles? Except for candles. Yep. Thank you, Kibo. She yeah. I agree. The power of friendship. Especially with the guys who fought against me. That's it. Angie went to that room to get a candle. Yeah. Play. You're damn right. Uh, no. Angie was gonna use it for the ritual. According to the Necronomicon, to resurrect the dead. After preparing the effigy, burn the Necronomicon to ashes. But not the one from Pokemon, because he sucks. Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. Then, did she seek out a candle so she could burn the book? That's right. There's nothing to start a fire with in Angie's lab. So she went to go get a candle from one of the empty rooms. And that's when the culprit attacked her. That's why there was dried blood under floor. Why is the culprit so swole? Which means Angie was attacked in the same room the seance was held. Bravo, Himiko. Well done for choosing that room for the seance. Yes. If we hadn't done the seance in that room, then Tenko's murder would have been in another room. If that happened, no one would have discovered Angie's blood stain under the floorboards. That's right. Shuichi and I only checked under the floorboards where Tenko died. Yep, it's all thanks to Himiko for choosing the same room as Angie. This must be a two as will. Or maybe the power of magic. It's neither. I just picked one. Hold on. You're all acting as though you've proven that is fact already. You claim Angie was murdered in the empty room, and then moved to the lab? Yes. Then how do you explain the large amount of blood in the lab? They didn't pull the weapon out until they got there. It may be possible to carry a body, but blood cannot be moved. I mean, blood can be moved, but okay. It'll be really Angie hard to do. Alive after the attack in the empty room. That's why they put tape over her mouth. Hmm. She was killed after she was carried to her lab. That means the culprit attacked her twice. Have evidence of that. The forehead wound. Where is it? Uh, I definitely passed it, didn't I? Oh, here it is. This is it. 
The fatal wound was a cut to the back of her neck from a katana. But she also showed signs of blunt force trauma, and I think I know why. After Angie was knocked unconscious in the empty room, she was killed in her lab. I see! So that puddle of blood is from the killing blow! Why oh, you sound so excited about that? It's all clear now! <laughs> he is excited about it. He said, I see! Murder! Angie was attacked in the empty room, carried to her lab, and it was there that the culprit finished her off! All clear. This is all clear. <laughs> what are you all talking about? All clear? What is all clear? Calm down, murderer. What, is, what are you... All clear? What are you all... You... You what? What, what, <laughs> what are, the fuck is going I on? I will not fear. I will not back down. Kyo's a chick? Sweet Kyo, calm yourself. This must be the work of an enemy stand. Their words are all hollow. There is no meaning to any of them. Do you have split personality? You must teach these ignorant children a lesson. Yes, you're right. Okay, I'll teach them. What the fuck is going on? What the hell are you mumbling about? You're giving me the goddamn willies! <laughs> Not yet. Nothing is clear at all. It's full of doubts! Of mysteries! Of a dense, impenetrable fog! Nothing is clear at all! What? I'm gonna go and with bloody duct tape. In the empty room first. All right, hold up. Have Slow down. Have into the research lab? Impossible! Impossible! That's nothing but a delusion. You intend to poison our minds with your delusions? It's no delusion. Angie's two external wounds tell the story. After she was struck in the empty room, she was carried to the art research lab, and then killed. You say the culprit carried Angie's body? And not a single drop of blood fell? The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. I'm sorry. Damn it. Did not mean to do that. Damn it! I just kind of like reacted. <laughs> you say the culprit carried Angie's body? Oh really? Come and not on. a single drop of blood fell? The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. Even if you wiped them down later, there'd still be traces of evidence left behind. But there was no evidence anywhere, was there, Shuichi? Oh shit, that was the fucking damn it. You say the culprit carried Angie's body? And not a single drop of blood fell? The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. Even if you wiped them down later. There'd still be traces of evidence left behind. But there was no evidence anywhere. What there you go. I'll cut through your words. There was evidence left at the scene. The bloody tape under Angie's body. What? It was wrapped around her head to stop the bleeding while she was being carried. Bloody tape? Gonta didn't notice at all. It was under the body. It's most likely evidence the culprit should have gotten rid of. But since it was hidden, the culprit didn't notice and failed to dispose of it. It must have fallen as the fatal blow was dealt and ended up under her body. It must have been Atua who did that for us. What? Atua? How long are you going to keep that up? Now we know most of the mystery behind Angie's murder. I'm convinced. There's only one person who could have killed Angie. What? I'm going with my gut. Listen, I know Kyo's shaking and losing his mind. Alright, I'm sorry, Hello. Himiko. Damn, I'm sorry. My bad, I take it back. Fuck. I'm sorry. 
really is a Kyo? Seriously? What? Did I skip? It has to be you. Again? It's you, Kyo. You killed Angie. What the fuck is with your bloodlust? Obvious. Such a boring, obvious answer. You killed both of them. Why? Why did you kill them? In terms of pure logic, only one victim was necessary to win. Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why? Why you killed them both? I think one of the murders was an accident. Accident? An accident? That's right. It wasn't part of the plan. Huh? Which one? You sneaky bitches. They omitted one of the fucking... One of the rules from the previous game. In the previous game, the rule was the Blacken can only kill one person. They took it away from this game right under my fucking nose. Are you serious? Murder was on murder. The murder that was an accident. Well, that one was definitely fucking. Uh, was a uh, Angie probably. That's it. Yeah. Oh, what Angie's the fuck? Murder was an accident. What? Tango wasn't accident. That's right. Kyo originally planned to kill someone with a seesaw trick. But while he was making preparations in the empty room, Angie walked in. So he decided to kill her in order to keep her from talking. She just happened to walk in on the culprit setting up and was killed. Then he should have just stopped there. You know what? In Danganronpa 2, they got... I'm sorry. In Danganronpa 1, that was the one where they're like, the Blacken can't kill two people. But in Danganronpa 2, they got rid of that, right? There was no reason for him to kill Tinko. You only needed to kill one for this game. Killing two is pointless. If you get bonus points for killing more, then sure. Otherwise, it leaves more clues behind. Then why the fuck would you take your own katana? Why, Kyo? Why you kill two of our friends? What is... What on earth are you talking about? No. I'm not the culprit. So, why is everyone looking at me like I am? Why? Why are they? Why is it... Calm yourself, Correcchio. Yes. You mustn't raise your voice. You mustn't stutter. You mustn't lose composure. You mustn't become flustered. You mustn't waver. Look at their horrid faces. This sorry lot is not worth agonizing over. You're right. Yeah. You're right. What the fuck? There he goes again. What the hell's wrong with him? It almost seems like he's talking with someone. Someone? He's just talking to himself! And why the hell is he wearing lipstick? <laughs> no matter how loudly you protest, this is a trivial matter. I will never acknowledge your allegations. Not a single one of them. But you see, there is no evidence that I killed Angie. <laughs> no, I will not acknowledge it. I will only acknowledge facts, true events. I won't acknowledge fiction, mystery. But, but that's your ultimate. What? I 
won't acknowledge your deductions or guesses. Well said. Good job, Correggio. Yes, thanks. <laughs> Creeps me the fuck out! No evidence? There's no evidence that he killed Angie? You're wrong. There is evidence. What? You do realize bluffs like that won't work, yes? The weapon that was used to knock Angie unconscious in the empty room. That weapon tells us the whole story, Keo. <laughs> That's not possible. I think you may have misunderstood. Apologize. Come on, apologize. I don't want to do that. Apologize. 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 Come on. Apologize. Apologize, 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 apologize. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> what, what the, the hell fuck? Is happening? That's great. I love this. I have no idea what happened with Kyo. But I know what weapon he used on Angie. I have nothing to admit. You are so oh, I had to hold wrong. it. Shit. Fuck. So I have nothing to confess. Shit. I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. Yes, I'm not the culprit. So I have nothing to confess. Why must you force your delusions on us? Your logic? That's merely a delusion. Well, Shit. Shit. To continue this debate is meaningless. Why must you force your delusions on Give me this shit. Your logic. That's merely a delusion. Well said, Correggio. To continue this debate is meaningless. Why must you force your delusions on us? I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me! Correcchio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? What the fuck? You're all wrong, not me! Correcchio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 I told you I am not the culprit. So why Fuck. are you looking at me? I have like no that? idea why I press a different button. You're all wrong, not me. Correcchio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. Apologize. You have no proof that Correcchio is what? the killer. Uh remove floorboard. It ends here! He picked up the floorboard and just thwacked her in the back. What the fuck am I looking at? Keo hit Angie with the same floorboard used in the seesaw trick. Bro, Keo, you had to kill her in the most ghettoest way possible. You literally just picked up the floor and just smacked her in the fucking back of the head. Oh, what the hell? Oh man, the next day in Rumble Game will have to be a freaking Osu. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> I see. And how do you know the floorboard was the murder weapon? There was a small patch of dry blood on the underside of the floorboard. Angie's blood? Blood that spattered there when the culprit struck Angie with the board. But that's not the only evidence that she was hit with that floorboard. There's also the blood stain under the floor to consider. For that to be there, the floorboard must not have been in place at the time of the attack. Good point. Had the floorboard been in place, her blood wouldn't have splattered beneath it. Keo's earlier confession is further evidence that the floorboard was used. H how? If the weapon used to hit Angie is the floorboard from the seesaw trick. It means the culprit knew about the seesaw, so the same person killed Tenko and Angie. Uh, 
Got that out of your system? I believe that while Keel was setting up the seesaw, he was holding the board when Angie walked in. And he cold cocked her with a floorboard! All you can do now is accept it. You even confessed to Tenko's murder already. Oh, now I just realized, by the way, totally, I, I was the whole entire time thinking of an answer to your question earlier about, uh, like, overall dislike characters. I said Hifumi, but I remembered who my real-time overall in Danganronpa dislike character is, and it's the fucking, it's, uh, shit, I forgot the dude's name, but it's the guy from Danganronpa 3, the fucking... The one that Junko blacks mail. That dude. Because his whole entire fucking reasoning was stupid. Oh, it's true. This is the truth. Looks like we're almost at the end. All right, Shuichi. I'll leave the finale to you. Bring down the house. Shuichi, please. Put an end to this. For Angie and Tanko's sake. End this class trial! I understand. I'll go over everything one more time. Heal. I want you to confess. No, I will force you to confess. I will force feed you, Kyo. Just wanna save my game. Alright. All right. Before we, before we sit down and get ready to do this, I have unfortunate news. This is sadly where I have to leave the stream. I have to end the stream here. I'm way over my time limit. But. We will be coming back to Danganronpa, you can bet your sweet ass on that. Um, let me just pause the game, right? So I don't have to do with the game over shit. We'll come back to Danganronpa at, at a later date. <laughs> which would be, I'm pulling out right now. Which will be, if you're on the East Coast, it would be Thursday at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. My bad. Thursday at 2 to 2.30 a.m. If you're on the West Coast, this is for the U.S. Um, you know, PST. It will be Wednesday at 11 p.m. 11.30 p.m. You know, around that time. Time area, right? So that's the next time we're going to be coming back with the stream. Right? Am I, am I thinking about that correctly? Hold up. Yeah, I'm thinking about that correctly. Yeah, that's how that works. <laughs> that's how that time works. So there's that. But if for some reason you can't wait for the next stream, which I understand, I do have a YouTube channel where I have posted my previous streams. And I'm starting to, uh, since, since I'm not streaming as much, I'm starting to do playthroughs on YouTube that are for the people there, so they don't have to just wait for whenever stream to get archived onto that. So, recently on YouTube, played uh, Psychonauts, the first Psychonauts, 100% completion, and then played the VR Psychonauts game to lead into the release, which is coming out tonight, I think? Yeah, I think tonight is the release of Psychonauts 2, so expect that playthrough to go up sometime this week also while that's going up i am putting up the stream archive for uh for phoenix Wright trials tribulations that playthrough we did all i have to do left is just uh render out the last stream that i did of it and then just upload all that so you know maybe later today you get some parts from that on youtube and that's pretty much it for the content wise. I also have a Twitter, 
anybody wants to follow me on Twitter, I'm there. I post some... Sometimes I post jokes here and there. I just kind of... Eh, Twitter, I just kind of have fun, right? I also post when I go live. I try to post when I go live, at least. Also, fair warning. If you follow me on Twitter, I am an adult. I like adult things. You're probably going to see some non-safe-for-work pictures up there. Nothing too crazy, you know. But just warning, you might see some titties. Right? <laughs> That's why I have my... That's why you read my stream description and it says, hey, guess what? I like hentai, it's cool, whatever. We're all adults. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, as always, I'd like to say thank you to people who came and watched live. I greatly appreciate it. You guys make it more fun, right? For people watching the VODs, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have, uh, hope you've been entertained by it, all right? And for those on YouTube, I have my stream in the description along with my Twitter. You can check those out. Try and catch the streams live if you can. I guarantee you, you'll probably have more fun that way. Maybe guarantee you, somewhat guarantee you, I can't tell for sure. And that's pretty much it. I guess since for marketing purposes, marketing, is that the correct word? I guess, right? I don't know. Uh, like share comment whatever i don't fucking know post it on twitter retweet some bullshit i don't fucking know i, I, I don't know what to say <laughs> i'm not that type of guy but as always i want to say thank you for watching and i will see you all in the next video stay happy stay healthy and take care <laughs>